and hello 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 we're back we're back we're back we are we're back we're back we're back did we leave no we didn't i didn't think so <laughs> i i actually i feel like i was just still on me too <laughs> But we're grateful for all of you and thank you everyone for coming back. We really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Tom Cruise, Tom Cruise, Lego man. Hello, Joyce. Thank you for being here. Woodbine girl, Harley kitten, invisible bitter. Whoop, whoop, whoo. Dropping the links. Look at this. Thank you so wow. much. Joe, I hope everyone just dropped by between flights. Have a great auction. Thank you. He's already on his way back. Yeah. Wow, that was quick. Yeah. Well, look who the little cute oh, dog oh, is. Oh, where have you been? Hello, where have you been? Christopher Chatworth. Where have you been, sir? Got ready to pick up the phone to see where our friend's been. You okay? Right. I hope you're feeling okay. I hope things are well with you, my friend. We miss you. I was just talking about you. Tom Cruise, Tom Cruise. Sergeant Spork. He's here. Why are origami artists terrible at poker? They are constantly folding. <laughs> Don, did you get it? No. Uh, origami is the ancient Chinese um, thing of oh, folding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Oh, constantly folding. Cute, cute, cute. <laughs> Yeah, Sergeant Spork, you're not gonna want to miss my uh, my video tomorrow. I wow. actually, T, I got a World War II expert. Um, I called Jesse, my um, my friend that owns Jesse's, you know, the vintage Kelsey's yeah. vintage, yeah. and I asked him if he knew anybody that uh, knew anything about World War II stuff, and he said, as a matter of fact, I do. So he, I just got off the phone with him. And he's coming. Um, he's coming down to my storage unit at twelve thirty tomorrow, uh, when we unload the truck, and he's going to be able to tell me what I have. Awesome. Um, yeah, he's really excited about seeing what I have. I shot him some pictures, so I'll be doing a video. So, Sergeant Spork, you're not going to want to miss that. It's all World War II, like mega mega stuff, like really cool stuff. Hey, Frank, Mr. Hey, Perez Frank. is in the house. Cheryl Lynn, hello. James Cisco, you ready for a good old Friday night fun? Thanks for being here. Hey, Ribbit. Hello, hello. Thanks for being here. Susanna, thank you so much. You are so kind. Thank you so much today. I had a nice chat with Susanna. It was nice talking to her. KK, she's KK. here, she says. She's not late. You're not late. You're no, she's late. saying we were late. <laughs> oh, we were late. Sorry. <laughs> Sandra, hello, Heidi, Leslie, Heidi, I have to show you a picture of the baskets. Let me see if I have, let me see if I can pull a picture up really quick um, from last night that we made. They came out so awesome. <laughs> I'm so funny. Gary's yeah. late nail shop again. <laughs> Hold on. I'm going to put myself full screen and take Heidi off. And look, this is the basket that nice. we made isn't that so cool nice yeah yeah they came out awesome heidi thank you so much for the help with that that was really really awesome of you to help she helped make some personalized stuff for the girls which i am very very grateful for um and thank you, Invisible Bitter, Ginger Ann. Thanks for being here. Julie Morris, thank you. Rosie's Closet, hello, ooh, ah, crochet. Oh, T. <laughs> I forgot about T. T's like, hello. <laughs> I didn't say a word. <laughs> I didn't say a word. Kathy, hi, honey. There's Kathy. That's Rumis' mom. Yeah. Vermis hasn't been around for a long time. Vintage memory. Oh, he's been coming a lot. He hasn't been in at all. Who? Vermis? Oh, he used to come oh, in. He no, he hasn't been around at all. Maybe she told him he had to stay away. I don't know. 
Why? He wasn't buying. <laughs> I don't know. Hey, Tammy. Hello, sweetheart. Hi, Janine, Tammy. I got your message. Thank I'm pretty you. sure I have it. I have to find it. I think it's right here on my desk. It wasn't marked. So that's why um, you didn't get an invoice or the bracelet. So I think I have it. Thank you for going back and checking to see which one it was. She bought a bracelet from me, a men's bracelet. Oh, and I, went back and watched the I video. never tagged it. I just left it on my desk and I'm pretty sure it's still here. Um, yeah, I have to look for it, but I'm pretty sure it's still in my little bucket of jewels here. Connie Johnson. Hi, hello. Johnson. Hello there. Thanks for being here. And Laura. Hello. Thanks for coming hello, in. Laura. Good to see you, Betty Webb. So very nice oh, to, nice meet, to you. meet you, Betty Webb. Ross, hello, welcome yeah, in. Welcome. welcome in. Fancy's in the house. Hi, Fancy. Oh, Fancy. Casual flipper, just Jackie. Guys, thank you so much. Everybody rolling in on this Friday night, Yellow Break Road reselling. Welcome. Hello, hello. Hey, Lisa. And there's Wes. Hello, mm -hmm. Wes. Denise. Wes, just to know, just we might have an auction. We might, Wes. We might. Yeah, we might. Yeah, right? <laughs> He's gaming. Yes, that's what these kids are doing. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Carlton. Welcome hey, Carlton. in. Hi, honey. Hope all is well, Carlton. Brenda, hi. And Jules, hello. Hi, hey, Jules. And Flippin' Fresh Fox, hello. Flippin' Fresh Fox, Welcome. Welcome in, Jade Mood. Hello, Moon. Not Mood, Moon. Hey, Donna, you should get those baseball cards looked at for value. You might have a good amount of money there. By the way, hello to you and T. <laughs> hey, D. <Dee. laughs> An idea. How about I sell them and you guys have a good look at them? <laughs> That's, That's my the plan. way we roll. <laughs> my plan. Disney Nate. Hello. Hi, honey. Thanks for coming in. All right. If I missed anybody, please forgive me because the- Oh, you missed a ton of people. I see Brenda Miller. I see Michelle P. Michelle P. I see and Bonnie Morley. Bonnie. <laughs> yeah, because the chat, and there's Sandra, because the chat um, skipped. Hello, so, it happens, guys. We don't intentionally do it, I promise. It just does skip. Yeah. It does. So it skipped on me and then I just picked up. Hi, Iris. Thank you, Bonnie. Yes, yes it is. But it needs to be cut desperately. <laughs> you guys are awesome. All right. So you saw my thumbnail, you guys. You know who is going to be our guest tonight. We're hanging with the boys. So Gary and Tom, they'll be coming in shortly, about 15 minutes or so. Gary is just getting home from work. Hi, Dora. Welcome in. And um, the boys are going to be selling some stuff. Romper room, romper room, mirror, mirror, right? Punisher, let's talk about it. Mental health. Oh. Punisher Woodworking changed their name. <laughs> yes. Let's talk about it. Mental health. All right. Could you some on. of that? Sorry to bother you, but could you email me the tracking? Still haven't received the plushies. Are you kidding? Oh, you should have got those a long time ago. All right, I'll look at it when I'll look. For um, maybe Nate better check with his dad because didn't you send them to his dad and not oh, to yeah. him? I did, Nate. I sent them to your father's house. I did, and I checked. I I even checked with your dad, and I showed T. I said. I said because there was a mix up with um with um the address and I even I I sent him um I sent him a um see I sent him the tracking and I said just making sure it's for your son it's the Disney lot and he wrote yep so I checked with him with the address and I said, should I send it to this address? And he said, yeah. So you need to check with dad because I think maybe they're at your dad's house. Thank you for remembering that to you. I had forgotten about that because I was actually either on the phone with you or something. And I, and I talked to you. I was, I, I think it might've been down when we were in PA with, when we were together. I don't know. I don't remember, but yeah, I talked to your dad. Oh no, it's no confusion. I just, I, I, I don't know. I, 
it was T that said to me that you didn't live there, that you have a different house. So I, I was just sent, I should have checked with you and asked for your address. So sorry. I hope you don't live too far from your father. Do you? Does he? No, I don't think so. Okay. Hopefully you live close you enough. No, he's just in Arizona and Pat's in PA. It's okay. Okay. Hey, Evil Lenny, what did you find about the World War II? I have an expert coming tomorrow. I was just talking about it. Um, at 1230, he's come in to kind of tell me what I have. I haven't even touched it. I haven't opened any of the boxes. It's all still in the truck. Um, it's going to the storage unit tomorrow. It's going to get emptied out um, at the storage unit. And then we'll take it from there and see. I mean, these boxes are really big, Evil Lenny. I mean, they are huge. I mean, whoever buys this stuff is going to have to pay freight um, because there's a lot. <gasps> he lives 40 minutes away. I'm so sorry. I'm sure he goes to see his parents every now and again. Actually, he was there the other day, I think. So don't worry about it. Okay, sorry. <laughs> sorry, Nate. Sorry about that. Sylvia, hello. Hey, yeah. Sylvia. I'm sure. I, I'm surprised your dad didn't tell you because, I mean. It, Sylvia, it I hope it didn't take you too long to get home, honey. <laughs> Sylvia and... <laughs> And, um, oh my God, what, why did I just like mental, mental out just for a minute? Sylvia came by to pick up some stuff she won. Oh, Justin, I'm um, sorry, honey. That's a, that's a bummer. Hey, Carla, I sent you a. I'm going to pay in football with the packages these days. I swear to God. Carla, just um, I sent you an email. Just write in the chat yes or no, and that will let me know. Um, Paula, you don't have to respond. Hi, Paula. We just got home. Oh, it was fast. Oh, good. Oh, good. Paula, Paula was like, "It's me." I know. I had a freaking mental block. Yeah. I'm like, that happens. That's the kind of day I've had today. Um, um, Janine, sixteen is mine. Hi, Janine. Chris, the goose with the ten dollars super chat. Uh, we had so much fun this afternoon, Chris. I loved hanging out with you and JJ. That was so much fun. But you, know what? you know what? Let's do it again tomorrow night. We had so okay. much fun. Let's do it again tomorrow night. All right. <laughs> Wait a minute. Can you tell the lady T, thanks for updating her answering <laughs> service. Did you update your answering service? Um, Petty's. Um, you might have an extra package goes to your son. Okay. I know. Cheese pot. <laughs> Get a package for your son and you don't even like tell him. Cheapers, creepers. Honest to goodness. All right. James Cisco has his martinis ready. Let's see. I can line up freight through my job. I ship 28 trucks across the States daily at my work. Keep me posted. I bulk by find out what you got, or what you want for it. Definitely, Evil Lenny. I will. I will reach out to you. I think that you, if you are a World War II collector, I think that you're going to go crazy over this stuff. I um. Um, Jules, I haven't sent you one yet, sweetheart. I, I still have a bunch of invoices I have to send out and you, and you are one of them. I have not sent them out. Anybody that ordered something that was like five or $10, I haven't sent out invoices yet. I'm just waiting for it to, um, to get together. I'm glad you're okay. Christopher. Christopher. Yes. Janine 11. Um, Oh, good, Christopher. Awesome. Yeah. Evil Lenny. I will definitely give you a shot at this stuff and, um, um, yeah, so don't worry. I definitely will give you a shot at it. I'll send you pictures. Oh, well, you'll be able to watch the video. I'm going to make a video tomorrow when we're unpacking it, um, and putting it in the mini storage. Kelly Picker, gotta run. See ya. I didn't even see Kelly Picker. I know, I did. I did. Did we even say <laughs> hi to Kelly Picker? I feel bad. Like, no, I, feel bad. I don't even think, I don't know. You know, this YouTube too, this whole thing with chats and stuff. No, but I just looked back. I did not see Kelly Picker. <laughs> so, oh, <laughs> Kelly Picker, I wish you had time to stay, honey. It's Friday night. Stay and have fun with everybody. Rowboat reseller Shamrock Pixie and Emily Conway inspired me to do my own mental health channel. That's awesome. Um, 
So, you know, I, I, I started a channel to kind of do that too, but it was too sad for me. The name of my channel is, um, my friends call me Donna and not really mental health. It's kind of like, uh, talking about child loss and I only put a couple of videos up and it's still too raw for me. Um, so I, I, I struggled with it. So I've kind of put it on the back burner for now. I, I much rather be here with you guys and not, I'll never forget what I went through, but you guys help ease the pain if that makes any sense. So it kind of puts, not that it, I don't want to say puts it on the back burner because it, really doesn't do that no, but it, it doesn't put you in front of mind that you're always talking about it yeah even though i talk about it and think you about do, it, but you know what? It, it, it's different. It's different. i mean tino is like i've called her mornings just sobbing 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 where i can't even stop and you know um christine b is also she's a great support she you know her and i we talk and she's she's also a great support um and of course all my Kathy, if you're still in the chat, Kathy's been listening to me for years and years. She she went through the worst of it with me, the absolute worst of it. But anyways, I guess you could call that kind of mental health also um, what I went through. But it's really hard. So I wish you luck with that because I think it's really hard to talk about yep. that. I'd much rather be happy. And you guys make me happy. And and my, Michael Whalen says, sneaky, sneaky, sneak peeps. So, yes, yeah, she's going to do a video tomorrow. So she'll do a video at the unit. I don't know if she'll do it while. Are you going to do it while the guy's there? Is he going to let you record? Yeah. I okay. asked him. He didn't answer me. I asked him if I could. So we'll see. I'm sure he'll answer me tomorrow when he gets there. Maybe he wants to think about it. Well, he Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks for the invitation. I appreciate it. All right. Got a nice little crowd here. 97 people. Whoop, whoop. They, they say time heals all wounds. I think they're nuts. Time doesn't heal so much as help to learn to live with the pain. Exactly, Iris. Exactly. Exactly. I mean, you know, it's definitely not as raw. Um... It's definitely not as, as raw as it was um, yesterday, but it's still very raw. Um, Kathy, thank you. Thank you so much for joining membership. I appreciate it. Thelma is in the house. Hello, Hello Thelma. Oliver. We haven't seen you forever, honey. I hope you're well. This is the perfect way to its coping agent, which is perfect when you're a virtual family. And it also helps you in other ways because this can be sober. Four years started with coin auctions between Kicken. Hmm. Can you translate that for me, Evil? Yeah, I mean, basically, he's saying this is the perfect way to you. Well, you took it down. Um, it, it, they, this this is like a coping agent, which is perfect when you're virtual family, you know, with with a virtual family, so to speak. And it helps in other ways because um, it can help. Yeah, well, I guess he saw before he has started with coin or auctions. Okay. I guess he has autocorrect or he's using voice to text. So. <laughs> Oh God, no! I'm sorry to hear that, honey. Oh, sorry. Hey, Jonathan Alfaro's in the house. Hey, Jonathan, hi, honey. Welcome. Thank you All right, so we're missing a few wrenches here. Not sure why. Donna, uh, did you see my note above? Sent you an email. No. Mm -mm. I'll look. I don't know when you sent it, but last time. Good morning. Good morning, Shal. And remember. No crying during the auction. That's right. <laughs> That's right. I ripped my pants. <laughs> How? When I came in the room here, I have one of those buckets that, you know, the ones that kind of fit in together, like they open and then they have like, yeah, they have metal hinges and I caught my pant on the metal oh, hinge and I got a big hole now in my leg. <laughs> That's a bummer. 
Hello, All right. Andrea. Hey, Andrea. Hi, um, so Mary T is here. Mary T, make sure you subscribe to the channel. We'll get you back your wrench. Okay, if you need a wrench, please make a comment so I don't have to go looking for you. That's that would be that would be very helpful for me. And <laughs> Kelly Picker, I don't know if you're still here. What happened? Betty, hey, your I'm pants. Gonna... Skin. Oh, I did my skin. I did myself a good job yesterday at the storage unit. Believe me. Lost shipment. The post office lost it. It's the tracking doesn't show. Just give it time, Susan. The post office has been like really, really crazy. Even with priority, which is supposed to be one to three days, people have been um, Shut up, experiencing a, a week, week and a half, even two weeks. Sometimes packages don't even get scanned and then they show up at people's houses. People have told me that no scans that they were never um, sent and, um, and then they show up at people's houses. So I appreciate people's honesty for that. Anyways, um, <clears throat> so Pammy, Chesie, um, her ankle is really swollen. I, I iced her up really, really good front and back all around the whole ankle. I used my packing tape, packed it up and gave her $20 and she went off to her girlfriend's house tonight. They're just going to, she's her, her girlfriend's mom is away on business. So she's going to go keep her company so she doesn't have to be there alone. And, and, um, she's fine. She'll just relax, but it's, it's pretty swollen, but, um, she's taking care of it. You know, we iced it like three, four times today. Andrea Baker says so many times her packages have done that. Right. Andrea, isn't that terrible? Hey, Bill. T, do you still have those 33 by 28 yeah. jeans? Yeah, I do. She does. I want to see some jeans. I have jeans. How did the game end? They won. They won. Why is Pat D's playing <laughs> violin? <laughs> While the host to tell the viewers to shut up, I thought <laughs> I was special. You are special. <laughs> Did you tell them number one in my book, Pat? <laughs> Donna, you never shipped these. I never shipped them. All right, Susan, I'll look at your um, I'll look at your email. I don't, oh, it might be some stuff that you ordered the the five dollar stuff. Maybe that's what she's talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably, probably. What the jeans? Yeah. Hum, no, 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 no. She's She's saying I never shipped them. So I don't know. I'll look at I'll look at the email, Susan. Um Bill McCorder wants to know how much the jeans were. I think 10. I started them at that. I yeah, you did. did. Right? You 10. Did. Yeah. No, I got them. Okay, Susan. Uh, I don't we're confused, Susan. Forget it. <laughs> Susan, you have my phone number. You can text me. Yes, I replied, Evil Lenny. I think I did. Sometimes I reply in my head. I, you know, I apologize. Wow, Ju Jade walked two miles today. You go. That's awesome. My phone is like dead. I got five. <laughs> like dead. Today. I not on. the one before. Check later. Okay, Susan, I will, honey. Are the jeans buy it now or auction? Buy it now. The jeans yeah. are buy it now. Just flew into Martha's Vineyard for a friend's wedding. His fourth one. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. This is starting to get old. Oh my gosh, I love Martha's Vineyard. My old stomping ground. I love it. Hey, Demuchiville. Welcome hey, in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome in. Awesome, you guys. Thanks, everyone, for coming in. We appreciate it. All right. So in just a few minutes, the boys will be here. Are you going live at the storage unit tomorrow? I'm going to do a pre-recorded and release it maybe as a, um, as a premiere, like tomorrow afternoon, unedited. I'm just going to, you know, whatever it is, it is. I'm not going to edit any of it. I, I, I just can't edit. I just can't, but I'll do, I'll do a premiere. Um, 
I don't know. They say it's not good to do a lot of lives on your channel. I mean, I don't know whoever they are, but so I try to do as much pre-recorded as I can when I when I have an opportunity. But we'll be live tomorrow morning on T's channel for coffee, five o'clock. I mean, five o'clock. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> she doesn't want me to sleep. She just doesn't want me to sleep. <laughs> 10 o'clock. <laughs> Hi, Kimmy. Hello, sweetheart. Yeah. Oh my I owe you a phone call too. I need to call you. I definitely need to call you. I Thank have you. an idea for you. Christopher, Susanna. Yeah, Christopher's so close to you. No kidding. Christopher's <laughs> so excited. He's like, what? There's boys coming? He's so excited. <laughs> Pat Jesus is like, we'll do a show. You ain't kidding, Laura. I'm going to need more than coffee at 5 a.m. <laughs> can't read what that says, Cruz. I don't know what that word is. Oh, God. Holding up the sign in the back room, and I don't know what the word is. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Oh my I have God. no idea. Text it to me. Text it to he's me. He's shaking his head like, oh my God. Tom like, texted to me. <laughs> I have no idea. He's still shaking his head. Now he's slapping his forehead. I'm going to put some coffee on for sure, you guys. Who else is going to have coffee with me tonight? Not me. I'll never go to sleep. <laughs> I'm going to have coffee. I'm tired. I'm going to be staying up for three or four hours for sure. I'm tired too, but if I have coffee now, forget it. I'll be up till we have coffee in the morning. Really? Yeah. No, not me. I'm going to put some coffee on as soon as I have a moment. See, look at who, look how many people. Jade's having tea and Punisher is having coffee and Casual Flipper is going to have some coffee. Coffee with a little cocktail inside of it? No, I'm just going to have straight up coffee and then maybe a little oh, coffee. That's not a bad idea. That might put me to sleep. <laughs> I already had my coffee. You can put some Grand Marnier in your coffee. Can I? Mm -hmm. I've never done that. Yeah, or a little Bailey's, a little Irish cream. I don't like Bailey's. I don't no. Like Bailey's. Welcome in, Boatman, Boatman. Thanks for being here. Strawberry hey, limeade here. Sylvia says she's already drinking her coffee. Susan Arrington, oh no, I got right to sleep when when you need to just hazelnut creamed coffee. I'm drinking Irish coffee, extra Irish. All right, you go. Coffee at night makes me sleepy. See, Sky, hey, Sky, welcome in. I'm drinking tea currently. Lack of sleep has me on the struggling bus today. Oh boy. Uh, yeah, Sam, yeah. nice. Sambuca's nice in there too, Sylvia. You're right. Sambuca. So he said turny. What is it? Turny. What does that mean? T-U-R-N-Y. Who knows what turny means? It means ready to turn it up. Oh, okay. James has got martinis. What does that mean? He's ready to come on? Can you double me about Thursday? I get the leg. You have to stop it, Patties. <laughs> Oh my God. <sighs> what, what's Thursday? What's Thursday? I don't are, you, know. are you going to meet Pat D's on Thursday? It's Thanksgiving. Oh, geez. I wasn't uh, thinking. Can you tell the lady about Thursday? I get the leg. Uh, okay. So you're a lot quicker with this stuff than I am, T. I had a I had wonderful grappa. After dinner last night, which I had another glass tonight, grappa. Who knows what grappa is? Do you know what it is? No. Grappa. Okay, Mary T, what's the difference between join and subscribe? So when you subscribe, you just subscribe to the channel. When you join the channel, you there's perks involved. We don't necessarily have... Well, <laughs> 
when you join mine, there's some perks involved. When you join Donna's, you're just supporting her family, as she likes to say. Yeah, <laughs> you're just supporting my family. That's all you're doing if you join my channel. I haven't had, I don't have any perks yet, and I'm sorry that I don't have perks. But maybe one day I'll have perks. Like some channels, they'll do like as their perk, they'll do a preview of what's coming up, or you know, <laughs> give a percentage off. Or is Mary a moderate? To give Mary T a, a wrench? You have to give her a wrench. Yes, she yes. needs a wrench. Elizabeth, did I just see Elizabeth? Yes, there she is. Yes. No yeah, one fights over right. turkey neck, right? Hey, Joy. All right, are you boys ready? Are they misbehaving back there? Yeah, give me a thumbs up if you're ready. They are misbehaving. This is this is the best I can do. Boys will be boys. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I don't have mine here. This is the best I can do. I don't have mine here. I don't have my sunglasses here. This is the best I can do. Bam, bam. <laughs> here we go. What's up, everyone? They're my reading glasses. I can't see far away. What's up, Cruz? Thank you, guys. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. Woo. Woo -woo. I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> hey. Gary. <laughs> Thanks again for having us on. Kimberly, thank you, sweetheart. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate you. Joy Munkin, hello, hello, hello. Thanks, no guys. Problem. There goes the neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> there goes the neighborhood is right. Let's get it started. How's, How's, that you? Okay? How's everybody doing? Good? Good. How about you? Doing great. Good. Long day at work, got home. Dealt with a bunch of stuff with the kids and oh, rumor, rumor had it you were at the nail oh. shop, Gary. Now, right, now I'm ready to party. Oh, what's in there? Cheers to everyone. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Come on, Tom. Cheers. I can't get a cocktail this early. We'll be in trouble. <laughs> hmm, that was good. I think you need to have a cocktail. So how's everyone doing? Good? Good. Good. We're just welcoming everybody um, everybody in and saying hello to everybody. And for those of you that are coming in a little bit later, appreciate you very, very much. Just uh, um, that thumbs up. Nacho victim. Nacho. We're almost done. Almost done. Almost done. Actually, we're just starting. <laughs> oh, you got 125 people here. Look at my lava lamp. Wow. I like it. Isn't it awesome? You keep it on the entire time. Um, I turned this I turned it on this morning and I haven't turned it off yet. It's really, really hot. You know it gets really hot when all of the little bubbles appear. I kind of like to turn it off and let it get settled a little bit, even though that looks really, really cool, and let it cool down a little bit. And then I'll, someone remind me to turn it back on in like 10 minutes. And it, it's really awesome when it starts to go and all the before all the bubbles form. Hey, Paul, welcome in. Hey, Paul. Paul, what's up, buddy? All right. Hey, Jill's in the house. Thanks hey, Jill. Girl. Have Hi, Jill. Fun. Beautiful. Hi, Jill. Look who else is here, Moki. Welcome to the party. Thank you. Thanks for coming in. You guys are awesome. Sorry, I was a little late. Billy Picker. Billy Picker. All right. Okay, listen, if there's anybody in the background that's watching, um, I'm Donna, also known as, my real name is Donatella Badalino, and this is T. 
options for you. And right below me is Gary, Westside Gary. Please subscribe to these guys. And then down here, no, down there. Um, Gary, Gary and Tom, because you guys haven't hit a thousand yet, we've had some questions of why people can't tag you on the community page. That's why. Just yeah. so everybody knows. Yeah, okay. we're we're aspiring channels. Right. So I mean, a lot of it's right. Drop, if you guys, Gary, I have a hard time finding your channel. So if you can pull your channel and drop it, or if anybody else in the chat has it, if yeah. you can, if you can drop your guys' channels in the chat, this way we'll get everybody to subscribe. Yeah, Invisible Bitter did it earlier. Uh, okay, so good. She can do it again. Thank you. Oh, farmer. Farmer. Farmer's in the house. Oh, and, and I knew Nacho Victim hadn't been here in a while. They lost their wrench, but they are registered. So you can go ahead and um, wrench them. Okay. I want to show, um, I want to show Farmer what um, Christine B just bought. And she, um, she said, Eat your heart out. Ah, oh, nice. Wow. Look at that. Look at that piece of machinery. Wow. That's <laughs> oh, an excavator. You know, I farmer's see. liking that piece right there. I don't know what it does, but it's pretty impressive. <laughs> I said, can Did I show farmer? She's like, hot you piece of iron. <laughs> you guys have a uh, happy birthday to Betty Webb. It's her birthday today. It oh, is. Oh, it is. Yeah. All oh, right. Let's get the birthday here. Birthday time. Woo, 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 woo. Birthday time. Hopefully she's here. She's Betty here. Webb, are you here? She's here. She was here a minute ago. She's out tramping. Hi, Kelly. Hey, Kelly. Hey, Anthony. Are you yeah, here? Are you here? Say that you're here, Betty Webb. We're going to sing birthday to you, Betty. Birthday girl. <sighs> birthday girl. Yeah. yeah she's she's here. Here. All right, ready? Happy birthday. I hope all your birthday wishes come true. Happy birthday to Betty. Happy birthday to Betty. Happy birthday, dear Betty. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Betty. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Betty. Take a wish and blow out the candle. Oh. Happy birthday. Birthday. Happy yeah. birthday. Perfect. Thank you, Christopher, for letting me keep the bear. I love it every time I use it. It's so awesome. Look at all the love, Betty Webb. Woo. Look at all the love. Happy birthday, sweetheart. Happy birthday. Panther Pack 87, welcome in and hello. 135 of you in the chat. Thank you so much. So um, Janine or someone or T, if you can drop the registration link. What I was saying um, earlier is, is if you'd like an opportunity to be able to buy it now, which we sometimes offer buy it now, uh, and sometimes we offer auction style items, I encourage you please to uh, send in a registration. It's really simple um, because- we just drop the form, ua crochet, just click on that, fill the form out, and then we'll rent you. That means you're eligible to bid. No other reason just to just, no, it's no cost, no cost yep. to register. Yep, and um, yep, there's the form. Um, because we don't, Lisa, really hi, honey, Lisa, thank you Lisa. so much, honey, for coming in. Thank Lisa. you nice to see you now. Now we just need to see KJ. If we see KJ, I'll feel complete. Leela, call. call KJ and tell her to come in. I haven't seen KJ here in so long. That would be so awesome. As the yes, Gary. Um, Gary likes immediate payment. So, Gary, do you have a banner that you want me to put up with your um, your email address, or do you want to just type it into the chat and let? I can, I can um, put it in the chat. That's fine. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I just I just put mine in too. Okay, and Tom Cruise. So Tom Cruise and Gary both want immediate payment. T and I will invoice. JJ. Hey, JJ, hey JJ, coming in. JJ, what's up? Nice crowd here tonight. Thanks, you guys. It means a lot to me. It really, really does for a small channel. Hi, Louise. Hi, Louise. 
There's a lot of people here. Who who is it? Luis, Callie reseller of Luis. Oh, Luis, thank you for coming in. There's Callie. Okay. Mm -hmm. I see you. Mm -hmm. awesome. What are you drinking tonight, Gucci Farmer? Fancy Pinks wants to know. Hi, mm -hmm. Sandy. This is gonna be a lagging night for me, Sandy. Sandy, don't jinx yourself. <laughs> right. right out of the gate. All right, so um, we're going to get this going. We're going to get it started before we start losing some people. They're like, this isn't an auction. This is a this is a talk show. But it's Friday night. It's Friday night, and I ain't got nobody. Actually, I got all of you guys, so it's really awesome. Thank you. Um, so what do you think? Who wants to go first? Eeny, meeny, my, uh, my email in the chat. Family uh, five at gmail.com. Awesome. I, I, um, now Wes, now is the auction. I want to go make myself some coffee. So Gary, okay, put the boys can on. Put, yeah. yeah. Can I put you, you ready, Gary? Can I put you on first? My boy, Tom going to go. Okay. Tom. Yeah. All right. I, can, I can go. I can go. Okay. So I'll go. Let's go in the order. Let's do Tom. Do you want to do girl boy, girl boy? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We can do that. Okay. So we'll do Tom T Gary me oh that right Ooh, it rhymed. tom <laughs> t gary me i love it it okay. rhymes <laughs> well, are we gonna do one item a piece or, or do two or what are you thinking let's two? do two like we did this afternoon that worked out really great on t's channel with um chris the goose and jj we did two each so it worked okay. out really oh, great. all right cool all right uh -huh. all right there you go, Mr. Tom Cruise. You I, uh, most most y'all most y'all know that I got a lot of music stuff, but um, I'm gonna switch it up back and forth. So I do have records. So those that are looking for records, I'll bring them up in a little bit. Um, I've got a really really awesome lot of um, Hot Wheels, and there's about 50 pieces, and they're in like a 12 by nine by nine box. And the start out is forty dollars shipped, and you'll see why the starting price is a little high. I'm going to try to get through them pretty quick so you guys aren't bored to tears. This is my lot number one, starting price $40. Okay? Bear with me because I'm going to try to go as fast as I can, all right? Chris the Goose is going to start us out at 40. Michael Whalen's in at 45. 50 cars, Hot Wheels, and one Johnny Lightning. And I'm just gonna keep it going. This one here is the um, the shifters, where the band changes colors. So that's pretty cool. Anyway, going on. Got some really cool ones here. This is Prudhomme's. And this one's, I think, the, the best one of the whole box, guys. This is a nice one. That's Bullet, Red Lines. But I believe it's, you know, it's from the 2000. Let me get my uh, magnifying glass to make sure. Where did it go? Anyway, I'll get to that in a minute. But uh, here's some more. Another cool one I like. I put these little things on there to remind me to say a little bit more about them. But they're really cool. Look at that one. That's the machine from Scooby-Doo, I believe. Look at that cards are in really good shape um my father-in-law is staying with us at the moment and he was so nice to bring up a bunch of these great hot wheels for me to sell so this is kind of like me helping him help us so it's really cool um to be able to show you these and then here's a ton more we're just getting down into the you know i would i don't know if these are commons but there's a lot of them there's 50 pieces in all in a 12 by 9 by 9 box, which I think is about 12 or $14 a ship through Pirate Ship. These are these are pretty cool looking, those little bugs. Let me get moving here. Let's get moving. You guys are probably like, hurry up, Tom. No, you're good. You're good. There's some more cool ones. There's this guy here. Just let us know, guys, if you're in or out. That's all I ask. Make sure. KJ. Hi, honey. 
That's, I think that's, uh, what is that, Homer? That's not Homer, that's something else. I don't know. Anyway, pretty cool nonetheless. Hey, Lucinda. It's amazing how many Hot Wheels you can get in a box if you try hard enough. <laughs> Callie Picker, we'll get you one. Hold on. When Donna gets back, it's her channel, not mine, honey. Okay, I am back. I just heard you. 50 Hot Wheels and all. One Johnny Lightning and a couple kind of... Callie Picker needs yeah. a, um, yeah. a wrench. KJ, thanks for being here, honey. Hello, beautiful. And I, James, guess, I guess James decided to be on some other device. <laughs> yep, James, I'll give you a wrench too. Pretty amazing stuff. Almost to the bottom, guys. 50 in all. Awesome. Shit. 143 in the chat. You guys, don't forget to go over and give a thumbs up. Appreciate it. Help the channel. Helps me. We're almost right. to the bottom. Take your time, Tom. We're in no rush. It's Friday night, honey. Okay. You take all the time you want. Look at that panel. That panel is sweet. Look at that panel, you that guys. And there's awesome. a bug. I love the the bug. The bug is awesome. Oh my gosh, we went through a, a, a point in our life where every time we saw a Volkswagen, the kids would punch my husband and say, punch buggy, oh. and they would punch me. And oh my this, gosh. This unfortunately is loose, but I'll throw that in. And then it, everything in 99.9% .9 of these are all, you know, flat cards, all intact. There's a Snoopy. What is that? A Snoopy or something? Yeah. Yeah. Huh, cool. Snoopy mobile. We say slug bug. Oh, I did uh, uh, you know what, Kimmy? I could picture you in a yellow VW bug. <laughs> oh my gosh, how cool is that? That's awesome. That I mean, one's a like Back Kimmy. to the Future. And I think these two are yeah, Star Wars. Awesome lot. Phenomenal. Look 50, at this. It's lot. like amazing. They just keep coming out of here. Oh my gosh, it's crazy. I love it. These cars are beautiful. They're all like specialty. It hey, is a deal. All right, we're down on the bottom here. Oh, Beatles. Yeah. Oh my gosh, these are really, really awesome, Tom. Yeah, aren't they? Oh my gosh, yes. Super cool. And then this will round it out. And then I'll show you that bullet. Mustang again. Sky's in for 55 now. Nice. Wow, that's gonna nice, nice deal for somebody. How right. many people Time for the holidays? 60 now to Luis. Uh, how many pieces total, Tom? 50. 50 of them. Wow, what a steal 50. that is. All right. So this one is are they all red line, Tom? No, this one's a 93, and this is the bullet. And I think um, this is the one that was the, the real kicker out of all of them, I think. Okay. I'm not an expert in Hot Wheels, so, you know, I can't really tell. Guys, now it's 65. Cool. There it is. 50 cars. And then there's even those. Yeah, there's Hi, still. Catherine. Welcome in, Catherine. Hi, everyone. My dad, Kevin, is Tom's father-in-law. He's watching. He says, these are really great. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Welcome. Kevin. No, it's Catherine. Yeah, Kevin's my father-in-law, and Catherine is my wife. Oh, okay. Yeah, she goes by Kathy. Hi, Kathy. Yay. Nice you. Oh, what a mountain of stuff, huh? Sky's in at 75. Susan now at 80. Yeah, I'm going to try and find... Um... Okay, Sergeant Spork, honey. Be well. This one I thought was cool, too. This is the Scooby-Doo one. How many in this lot, Tom? There's a lot, man. 50. Woo! You're getting 50. Small peeps, where we at? Susan uh -huh. with 80? We got Susan uh, Erickson in for 80. And then these here are super cool, the cars. And this one is <laughs> the Hudson Hornet and Chick. The Hudson Hornet's name is, I forget what the thing is. I can always confuse with the names of these things. Anyway, that's it. All right, we says let's, he's out. Let's sell them.
Someone gonna get a deal. Hey, Lou Raider. Hi, honey. Just in time for the holidays. Sky, let us know, honey. We're gonna go once to Susan at 80. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thanks everybody for bidding. Sky's gonna be in for 85. What year is the Mustang, asked Lucinda? 93. Okay. Panther Pack, if you want to register, um, or if you have, just let us know. I'll go and check it. You got a Catherine Hawksworth also. That's uh, Tom's wife. Oh, hi, Catherine. Catherine, good to see you. Hey, you guys can call her Kathy. That's 95, hey. now to Sky. She's a Kathy with a K. Kathy. Hey, another KK. Man, Tom, what a great lot, buddy. Thank you, boss. You're bringing some hoo. There Hello. is your woohoo, Benjamin. One hundred dollars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, thank you. Fifty cars. It's amazing. I just said, you know what? We're gonna go big. We're gonna put a big lot together. We're gonna go in okay, style. Okay, thank you, Panther. Thank you. All right. Panther Pack needs a wrench. Let me just double check and make sure we got there's it. Those, there's the two Prudhomes. This is a super, super awesome, awesome lot. Unbelievable. Thank you for bringing such a great lot. Thank you for having us. We're just so stoked to be here. So thank you again. Yep. Panthers all set. Got their information. Thank oh, you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much for registering. Thank you so much. Welcome to the family. Don, I got a giveaway too. I want to give away. Awesome. At some point, but we'll do it a little later. Cool? Okay. All right. Oh, that's so super cool. Look at that. I've Susan never seen Mason that. comes in for 110. Woo! That is cool. Hey, Susan. Thank you for being here. Welcome, I mean, Panther, to the family. Christmas coming up, guys. I mean, these are some great gifts. James, what up, buddy? Catherine, I just gave you a wrench so you don't stick out like a sore thumb. <laughs> uh oh <clears throat> fancy pinks what did i miss what what happened uh, she's saying did you get uh lara's haul she says i'm doomed lara has um she always has great stones oh okay All right. Oh, let's sell it, sell it, sell it. Let's sell it. Susan Arrington is out. Thank you, guys. <clears throat> All right. I guess we're going to call it twice. Going twice now. Kelly says, great fire lot, Tom. Thank you, Louise. Yes, Thank you. Start off the auction. You guys rock. Woo. Love it. And with a fair warning, last and final call, we are sold to Susan Macer for $110. Thank you very Thank you. much. Congrats, Susan. Wow, that's rocking. All right. Susan Macer. Smart. Christmas is coming. And uh, I'm not sure is my PayPal link up yet. I can put it up. One one zero. Hot wheel lot. All right. So you want me to do one more? Yes, sir. All right. I got some record albums. Okay. Um, and they're vintagey, like older. And they're old soul. And this is a double album. Lot two, starting off at twenty five. And this is Junior Walker, and this is a two-record set. The records in here are immaculate. There's a little bit of edge wear on the covers, but it's pretty clean, as you can see. I've checked each record to make sure they're quality. And typical where you find a record where there's some edge wear, but the record is super clean. And then this has, like, a tape on it, but I'm going to use my heat gun and get these off before I ship them. The previous owner had, like, these little labels on it. So there's Temptations. 
And there's 15 records at $25 start. Here's a compilation, Heart and Soul 50s. Same thing. The record jacket's a little edgy, but the vinyl inside is nice. This is Cruisin' 61. Again, with the stickers that might be on here, I'll take them all off before I ship them. All right, KJ's going to start us out at 25. Okay. And it's Friday night. Rocking 50s. It's Friday night. And then these are really cool. And again, the stickers will come off. They will not ship with the stickers on them. These are the oldies. I've got um, nine of these. And they're random different volume numbers. I didn't get them in consecutive. They didn't come to me that way. But a little bit of edge wear, but the records are really nice shape. And they're all doo-wops and oldies. So you'll know. I mean, for 35 now. Very common, common records, very common titles. That's volume three, volume five, volume seven, volume eight. And each one of these have like at least 10 or 11 songs on each album. That's pretty cool. This is volume 10. And this is volume 12. Volume 14. Not sure where those other ones are, but we'll take what we get. 15. Again, the stickers will be off before they ship. And this is a great Marvin Gaye live album. Again, these will be off when they ship. You got nine of these oldies but goodies. And then mixed in with that is are these really cool 50s and 60s compilations. These have like 12 songs on each one. And I just noticed somebody did a little bit of circling. So there's some pen writing, unfortunately. I didn't even see that until now. Um, this one has 10. And then here's the, the 50s. And then Temptations. And then again, the double album of Junior Walker and the All Stars. Let's sell it, sell it. Sell it, sell it, sell it. All right, Connie's in at 35. KJ, let us know if you're in or out. Smoking deal. Then I got, um, I do have some hand. Picked. I spent a bunch of hours curating my bulk of 45s that I own, and they're all in dead, like new old stock. And I kind of weeded out the Barbara Streisands and the Perry Comos, and I really, really uh, designed these 250 piece lots for tonight. So I've got those coming up. I've got two, and they're stacked with some really great titles. Uh, two lots of 250 45s in each. And those will be coming up later on. Really good stuff. Then I even have, oh, I even have other stuff too. Oh, Wait. do tell, do tell, do tell. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. I've got um, a super lot of, believe it or not, country cassettes that came out of a clean estate. And there's a hundred of them in there I'm going to sell tonight. And they're all country greats, all the original wow. country cassette tapes. So that'll be exciting. And if you all don't know Tom's records, they are clean. They are oh, absolutely God. clean. Then I then I found this piece of ephemera. That's a record. Oh wow. That's wow. a Shelby Cobra. And that is a hole in the middle where you put it on the turntable. Huh. And it's it's the sounds of the car, the Cobra, Shelby Cobra, narrated by Carol Shelby. And these are on eBay, but they're they're a little pricey. They're not too bad. But uh, that's kind of cool. I'm going to sell that tonight as well. Yeah. All right. All, All right. right. We're sold for 35. To awesome. Kristen. Thank you, Connie. Sold? Oh, oh, Donna, make me smile, make me smile. <laughs> Donna, thirty-five, thirty-five. Okay, Sing awesome. Thank you. Sing us a song, Tom. Sing us a song. What you got? Turn out the lights. No. <laughs> What's up? All right. Who's going yeah. up next? I guess See? I'm next. 
All right, we're All going right. to guy stuff Europe. to girly stuff. <laughs> All of these are a size, I pulled four pieces. They're all a size six, seven. They're adorable. All new with tags. They are called basic moves. And they are like dance dress because they have the, the little thing. So we'll start these off at 20. You got the purple. You got a white size six, seven on these. You got a pink. And you got a cool black. And again, they're called basic move. And they are all a six, seven. They are so cute, right, Michelle? They are adorable. Adorable, adorable. Hey, Neville. How are you? Good to see you. I feel like I haven't seen Neville forever either. Really, Kimberly? Wow. Ballet tutus. Yes, Shelly. <laughs> For those of you who have your ballerinas or your grandchildren who like to dress up or daughters or nieces or whatever <laughs> any interest any interest <laughs> right, carla. <laughs> right carla t where are we gonna start this 20 20 Six, they're seven, really Betty Webb. They're a size, they're all the same size. They're all a size six, seven. And they're called basic moves. Give me basic moves. Basic moves. And if there's no interest, we'll pass. Oh, Pooh. Betty Webb, what size do you need? I have others I can bring. I just figured it'd be easier to bring them in the size. Um, but if you need a specific size, let me know because I have others. Okay. All right. If not today, tomorrow, Betty, I promise. I don't know if I can pull them out today. Um, I know they're so adorable, right? All right. We'll pass on them. If there's no interest, well, let's just pass. You guys may not like the size either, but I have other sizes if anybody's interested in others. Yes, absolutely. A hundred percent. Let me just write that down. Diane slash Bill. Make uh, 33 You got it. Two pairs. All right. Two pairs of Levi's. 3328. And um, Betty Webb, I'm making a note um, for you on the um, <laughs> size two, three, more a three. Yeah, you're probably better off going a little larger anyway. You know that with kids, they grow so fast. Choo-choos. What? I'm my bro, Afaro. What up, Jonathan? All right. This is the last of these, guys. You guys know I got a whole case of these. Brand new in the case. New old stock. There's 45 of them left. All the same. They are 1969 Wally Wood. 45 left. Let's start them at 25 shipped. Easy list. I almost thought that said Donatella, not Dragonella. <laughs> we could probably do something with that, actually. <laughs> hey, Autumn Grace. How you doing, Miss Martha? Hi, honey. Yes, Susan, thank you. I am feeling 100% better, thank God. I do have to go for one additional test, but since I am feeling better, I'm going to, I put it off till after Thanksgiving. 
So, but thank you. Thank you for asking. I'm thinking the same thing about my root canal on Monday. Yeah. I really don't want to do it. Yeah, but it's a front tooth. You got to be so careful. I mean, I could see you putting it off till after the holiday, but I wouldn't put it much off of like maybe a week. <laughs> Why, you don't think you'll like me with my front tooth missing? Oh, I would still love you. It doesn't matter. You could have no teeth. I'm, I'm good with that. I'm, no, I won't go there. <laughs> Hello, Neville. Thank you for coming in. All right. Any interest in these? If not, we'll pass on them. Awesome crowd tonight, you guys. Thank you so much. I wonder if there are any pumpkins left. Well, what does she mean by that? On the farm? I know what she means. 45 Panther Pack. 45 of them. Same, same copy. At least I think I know what she means. Danny May. Danny May. Hello. I'm not kidding. Hello there, beautiful. We haven't seen you forever. Thanks for popping in. All right, let's pass on them. But we're gonna pass on them. We'll bring them back up. Hello, time. sweetheart. Hello we'll there, Miss Martha. All right. <laughs> Gary's okay. up. Gary, you ready, sweetheart? <laughs> Come on, Gary. <laughs> I want T to do one more. No, what is this? I want you to sell something, T. I did. I sold uh, two pairs of jeans. T, oh, Gary, yeah. Gary's nails aren't dry yet. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> They're not dry yet, so give me a minute. <laughs> Boom. All right. There Woo! Woo! There's Gary. What's up, everyone? Thanks for being here, Donna. T, thank you for allowing us to come on and hang out with you all. Y'all ready? Yes. Ready. All awesome. right. I got a lot of 80 baseball cards. Wow. Okay. There's some really good names in here. So I'm going to go over them quick. Okay. So we got, let's see. Got Frank Thomas. And they're all gradable. I'll show them quick. There's some Nolan Ryans in here. Listen, um, Gary. Yes, ma'am. Don't worry about being quick. Honestly, chill out, relax. It's Friday night. We're here to have a good time. Don't worry about it. You're good. Let's start this off at 25. You're All good. Right. All right. 25 shipped, and you said 80 of them, Gary? 80 of them, yep. 80. Okay. Great right summer, here. the whole family to here tonight. It's because it's the holidays. It's the holidays, so everybody <laughs> showed up. I'm so excited. Um, <laughs> That's <laughs> awesome, you guys. You really, 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 really make me happy, all of you being here, especially for those of you that have been away for so long. There's, I can mention so many of you that I haven't seen for a while. Thank you. Yeah, thanks for being here. Gary, it's family sold five at Gmail, right? That's correct. Okay. Isn't Damn. it summers? It's awesome. I know. Puts a smile on my face. Yeah, Gary, let's drink, farmers. The family together. Amber says, you make me smile too. Thank you, Amber. You're so sweet. You're always smiling. You always have a smile on your face, Amber. <laughs> KJ says, nobody would miss Gary's manicure. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hey, Carol, welcome in. Hey, Carol. Frank Thomas. Hi, Bobby. Thank you for being here, honey. She says she's here and she's lurking. Hi, Bobby, hon. Go, yeah. Doug, go. Yeah. Whoop, whoop. Hello. Out for you here. Don't be Amber. Get your front tooth fixed. I know, right, Amber? Uh Will Clark. 25 casual flipper. 25, honey. Hey, Joanne. Some of these are valuable. 
but I won't tell you how much they are. I'm only here to see those sexy hands. <laughs> Palmer. <laughs> Where's Goose? I haven't yeah, seen where is Goose? Goose? Yeah. He's here. He was here. Him I and GK were both here. Jonathan Alfaro starts us off at 25. That's right. I, I just, heard Goose had a manicure done today. So I heard her. His nails were awesome today. <laughs> they were. They were so awesome. Yeah. 80 of them, guys. 80 of them. All in sleeves. This is uh, Ken Griffey Jr. You know what, Jill? That's a good point. I, I think I will, too. There's a Nolan Ryan. You all know who that is. Guys, please try to subscribe to Gary. He's a, he, he needs less than 300 subs to get to 1,000. I'm close. There's another Nolan Ryan. Cliff Floyd. These are all in great shape, guys. Ken Griffey Jr., We got here another Ken Griffey. I'm sitting down, Wes. I'm sitting down, buddy. Hey, Don, right above you, we're invisible. Bitter, put it, hun. Don, leave the, the link. Thank you for coming in, Don. Don is Don is good too. Don will share you out. He he loves to share channels out and get your subscribers. Another Nolan Ryan. There's the back there. There's a Cal Ripken. Oh, I know, Amber. Yeah, a lot of people aren't happy about that. Another Cal Ripken. Thank Amber. you, Nacho Victim. There's Tom's channel. Ken Griffey. Thirty-seven now to Paul Suckling. How you doing tonight, Paul? Good to see you. I know you will, Don. Another Ken Griffey. Ken Griffey. Forty now from Jonathan Alfaro. Here's a Frank Thomas. Forty-two card. from Paul. Forty-five now from Jonathan. 50 now from Paul. There's a ton in here, guys. Just trying to get a lot of the um, the good ones. Another Frank Thomas. All right, we're going to sell it soon. Uh, what else we got? Hey, Thomas. Ryan Sandberg. Cubs. Um, George Bell. All right, let's sell it. All right. Oh, here's another good one. Good one there. Um, Jonathan's out. We're going to sell it to Paul. We're going to go once. Terry Bonds. So, yeah, there's a ton in here, guys. I'll leave the rest of mystery. 80 of them. Let's sell it. Woo! Dawn is out. Eighty. Fifty-five, Jonathan Alfaro's back in. He saw something. There is some value. Nice lot, G. Paul's in at 60 now. Thanks, Mook. All right, everybody show some love to Jill, too. Jill's looking for subs. She's starting to do some content. 65 now from Jonathan. 80 cards in total, Loot Raider. Paul's going to be out. 
All right, let's call it down to Jonathan at 65, going once. Sweet. Thank you, everybody, for bidding. Yeah, sub to my bro Tom Cruise. Woo twice now. Okay, James. James says he's 110 away from 1K. All right, show some love to James. Oh my gosh. Wow. James, that's close, buddy. You're almost there. Let's get it, James. And with a fair warning. I said hi to both Danny and Jenny, girls, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I did. Thanks, bro. You'll nice. do well. You'll do well with those right there. I promise you. Oh yeah. One car will pay for that whole thing. All right. You guys want to see some of this? Here, I'm gonna show you this. This is what I'm gonna give away later on Donna's channel. Oh man. Brand new board. Wow, that's awesome. That's Thank you, Gary. Great. That's great. A free giveaway. We'll have to figure out how we're going to give it away. If we want to do a number thing, whatever Donna wants to do. So I'm going to bring that later, okay? That's Go awesome. to somebody's house. Thank you. You guys want to see a really cool ephemera book? Black and white photos? I'm going to sell it, but I'm going to start this off at at least 75 bucks. Okay. Familia, Familia de Estrada, thank you so much for the 10 rubles. Appreciate it. Thank you very, very much. Yay. All right, I'm starting this off at 75. Mm. Look at that beauty. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. What is that? It's an album. Oh my gosh, with old pictures in it? Got a ton of military in there. Oh wow, superstar yeah. lot right here, you guys. Thank you. Start this up at 75, like the inserts. It's got like some sort of like fiber uh spider webbing. Wow. It's parchment paper. Yeah. That's some vintage stuff right there. Like All right, belly. Jonathan Alfaro's gonna start us at 75. Awesome. Let me see that cover again, Gary. My time in Germany. My time in Germany. That's what I thought it said. Okay. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. And it's all raised. It's all raised, right? Leather. Yep. Oh my yeah. gosh, that's gorgeous. <laughs> yeah, onion paper, exactly. I'll go through some of these pages with you. So it's got that um, mm -hmm. that onion paper in between each page. Okay. I mean, there's some amazing pictures in here of military. I mean, check these out. Hey, Shane, flipping it again. Welcome. Thanks for coming in. We can drop the link. You just need to register, no cost, if you'd like to uh, participate in the bidding. We'll go ahead and drop uh, the registration. Can you that okay? Yeah. Okay. And just fill that out, Shane, and you'll be eligible to bid. Thank, Thank you. And for welcome. In, Shane. Welcome. This thing is full, too. Whoop, woo, 140 of you here tonight. Thank you so much, you guys. Don't forget about the thumbs up, please. Christopher Chatworth comes in for a Benji. All oh, right, Christopher. Right. 110 now from Jonathan. One twenty now from Christopher. <laughs> right, Danny May. Go over and check it. Danny May. Hi, Danny May. I mean, this is probably one of the nicest albums I've ever seen. I'm not just saying that because it's mine. But there's some really neat photos in here. Some more. Oh, 
How many photos in all do you know? No, but I can count them real we quick. We can get a page count and then multiply by four. It looks like they all have four on a page. Well, technically eight, right? Eight. Yeah, eight per page. Oh, Fancy, you're going to want to watch my video tomorrow. I have an expert coming to tell me what I've got. Yes, it's from Germany. Susan says, where did you find it? He can't reveal all his sources. One of my favorites right there. Oh, that's awesome. Back of the truck. Yep. It's great. Love it. Some more. Sorry, it's taking so long. Thank you. Remember, we're going to get a count first, honey. We're going to get a count first. Somebody asked for a count. You want me to count real quick? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Are they American soldiers? Hey, what's the highest bid? 120 to Christopher? 120 to Christopher Chatworth. 120 to Christopher Chatworth. And 23 pages. Times eight, or roughly. There's a few that had three. Do I you know. want me to do the, um, the math? Yeah, would you do that for us, Donna? I appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Familia, thank you so much. Sister, my friend, visit my work. Sisters, brothers, I will be very happy. Thank you. Thank you for being here. This is where, like, the camera would go into play when... My dad served in the Army working on missiles in Germany. I have seen similar pictures, memories of stories he told. Isn't that awesome? All right, Jonathan comes in for 130. Christopher now at 150. Thank you, Mimi. Appreciate it. <laughs> she did the math for me. <laughs> Thank you, sweetheart. <laughs> All right, Jonathan Alfaro is out. Any other interest? Or we're going to call it to Christopher at 150. Thank you, Jonathan. It's a really, really nice book. Here's like some with the explosions. Some pages have more photos. Oh, yeah, I see that. Some pages have five, so it makes up for the three. <laughs> All right. Almost 200 pictures in here, guys. All right, we're going to call it. We're going to call it to, John, to Christopher at $150. Fair warning. How you doing, Denise? That's awesome, Carla. We sold? Sold to Christopher Chetworth for $150. Awesome. awesome. Thank you, Christopher. Appreciate the support, Jonathan. Thanks for visiting, buddy. Wow, nice. Nice. Yeah, the cover is absolutely stunning. Yeah, it's, I mean, it, I mean, look at that thing. Hey, hey Steve, Steve Bash. <clears throat> Great picture. I love that profile picture. That's amazing. Isn't that great, you guys? That's an awesome, awesome picture. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it really is. It's beautiful. All right. I guess I'm up. Thank you, Christopher. Okay. Hi, guys. All right. So, 
my first lot is going to be a multi lot, multi, multi lot. Excuse me, Boston. Move, baby. Okay. So the first seven people that type me in the lot will get this for $5. It's three shirts. This is the only lot that has a miscolored shirt in it. All the other lots, I'm going to blow these out tonight. You're going to get great deals. So they're medium, made in USA. This is what they look like. You get three in a lot, and they're $5. Three in a lot. One, two, and three. The first person that writes me gets this one, which is two colors. Two of this and one of this. The rest of them are all these colors. Okay, $5 for three shirts. $5 for three shirts. Andrea Baker. Hold on one second. I have seven bundles left. I don't know if I have any more in the mini storage, but this is it. So Andrea Baker. Yep. Okay. And Mimi, you can have one. It would just be all the same color. It would be three yep. in that can. Yep. The rest of them are all, this is, this is the only one that's got the mismatched. The rest are all this color. This color here, size medium. Okay, she says that's fine. Okay, show it again. Somebody else wants, Jules wants to see it. Okay. So you're going to get three of these for $5. Three shirts for $5. Did you unplug the lava lamp? Yes, I'll plug it back in. The one night Christopher Chatworth's here and you unplugged it. <laughs> no, it was, it was like it had been on all day, so now it's going to do all the fun stuff. There you have it. Three for five. All this color, except for that one that Andrea's taking. Is there any other interest? Do, 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 do. That's it. We're done and done. Just one order, Andrea. And Mimi resells. Denise Mimi wants one. Three mediums, Jonathan. Three shirts, five dollars, all medium. Woodbine Wood girl and Carla. Woodbine girl and Carla. Um, no larges, Andrea. No, not right now. No, nope, I don't have any larges. There you are, Robin. Are you on the road? I know you were hitting the road. Okay, so I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's three left. Nobody else wants any. Three lots are left. All right, we'll bring them back another day. We're done and done. Okay. All right, we're done and done. Five dollars each. All right, so I'm going to bring some um, baseball cards. Um, I don't know anything about them. Carla said hers go to the homeless. Oh, okay. Carla's to the homeless. All right, so the next lot is going to be lot number 17. Thank you, Carla, Andrea, Mimi. Thank you, guys. Thank you for the orders. Okay, thank you so much. Hey, Brenda Miller, thanks for coming in. All right, so this is this is what I have. It's this little tray. Um, I'm not going to show all of them the way um, Gary did. I'm just going to show you some. Some of them are in this hard plastic. Uh, that's Roger Clemens. Um and 25 donna hmm? 25 yeah yeah 25 yeah. ship to start i'll give you an idea of what's in here and you can get an idea of the era um there's a lot of them that's hockey 
Roger Clemens, go dog, go. Really? Don't Paul know. Paul going to come in at 25. Paul Rice, Bob Walk, Richard Dobson. I don't know any of these people. I'll try to handle them carefully in case they are gradable. I don't know. But these came out of the same lot that the ones came out earlier. So there's a nice big stack of those. I'll pull some more out of here. There's a lot in this box. So it's kind of like buying a lottery ticket because I don't know. I don't know if you guys recognize the years on them. Well, you can tell us the year. Oh. <sighs> I can't. I show can't. the back. Show show the back. Nineteen eighty. Nineteen eighty eight. Pharma. T. Make a note that Mimi wants the last lot of shirts and send both to the homeless. All right. So Denise wants two two sets of shirts and she wants to donate them both. Okay, we should so probably have told everybody. Oh, maybe not. All right. There's, no there's three left. She wants two total. She wants two lots. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Let me write that down before I forget. Two to Mimi. Okay, honey. We will get going on those bags. I'll show you what I bought for them. I have it here. I bought some stuff. Okay. So there's all of those. Um, then there's this stack, Mickey Mantle, Mickey Mantle, don't know. I mean, there's just a whole bunch of them. Pat Kelly, Kent something, Eddie, is this a crazy way to show them? 1992. Okay. And then I'll show you more. There's all of these upside down. And I do two some more. Pirates. I don't know, you guys. I don't know what I have here. Okay, I'm going to show you a couple of more because there's still a lot in this box. Some of them are backwards. Okay, so that's whole stack. And let me show you what this is. This has an elastic on it. This is when I wish I had like a camera on a table. Sometimes doing it the Donna way is not always the best way to do it. Right. No, no, no. I was thinking the same thing when I was showing my card. Like, you just lay yeah. them out, right? <laughs> Don is so funny. I don't know. I'm like, just this is what I got. I don't know what I got. Look at upside down, sideways. Yeah. Are these worth anything, you guys? What do I have here? All right, so we're going to sell this whole stack for 25. We're going to let it go. Aren't these like garbage pail kids or something? What are these? Mark the Maniac. They're, they're like garbage pail. Yeah. They're really cool. There's a, them. a bunch in here of this kind also. Good night, Danny May. Good seeing you. Good night, Danny May. Good night, Danny May, honey. So there's a bunch of those in there. I'll see you again in a month. <laughs> what do you mean? 
mean? A month? Look at Where this. Where are you going, girl? <laughs> these cards are so funny. What did these come in? Baseball cards? No, you can buy packs of them. All right. Great deal for 25 bucks. Yeah. Show the whole stack in the basket again, too. Don. I will. I will. I'll do it right now. I'll put it all back in and I'll show you. Hold on one second before you call it, Janine. Hold on, because there's another part of it. Let me finish showing it one second. Because there's some here that are not opened that I'm going to include in the lot. You got Don in at 27. Paul's now at 30. Sometimes okay. I want to see that stack. All right, hold on. I'm going to show you, and I'll show you the ones that I have that are not open that I'm including. I'm putting them all back in the tray. Give me a second. Oh, Chessie, you're home? Okay, so there's these are in this little envelope. This they, These came in this little um, baggie. I haven't opened them. I don't know what these are. Do you want me to open this and show you? What is it? Let me see, Don. I don't know. Oh, those are cool. All right, Don's in at 35. Paul comes back in at 37. So you get all of those. And then there's some more of those. And then there's another whole stack of these which are unopened and get them out of the bag. No idea, but you get all of those. So you get all of these. Okay. Now I'm going to show the whole stack. So these are the ones that are, um, this Roger Clemens is in the hard case. I don't know if that's, that's the only one that's in the hard case. So you get all of those and all of these unopened packs. And that's what you get. Paul Suckling is at 42 and they all fit in there nice and neat. And I would say that they're in good condition. Like the corners and stuff. See? So in case you do find a superstar in there. And you do decide to send it out. I hope you do find a superstar. I'm a superstar. You are JJ. Okay, going once to Paul for 42. T. T. Yeah. You scared the hell out of me. Did I? I'm sorry. Oh my I'm sorry. God. Uh, I'm don't sorry. do that. I'm so sorry. Sorry. It was Jesus T. Sorry. I saw it on your face. Like, uh oh. What the hell were you doing? Okay. She was leaning back like this. <laughs> was she really? <laughs> <laughs> I look down into the fuzzy room and that's what she's doing. She's like this. I just closed my eyes for a minute. You scared the living daylights out of me. So sold, so God to bless you. God, T. Honest to God. Paul, congratulations. I hope you find a superstar in there. Paul Suckling. $42 for the no, I'm not drinking. Ooh, uh, not yet. <laughs> I'm on the verge. <laughs> Trust me. For the basket of cards. Okay, that's my two. So, Tom Cruise, are you ready? Give me a thought. Tom! <laughs> <laughs> now he's doing it. <laughs> Just stretching. We're doing in between stretching, actually. <laughs> Tom. <laughs> Tom, I love that cowboy hat. You're yeah, a nice hat, Tom. It's um, I think you're um muted. Rookie move. Yeah, my family's <laughs> got a ranch down in SoCal, so anytime I go down there, I gotta be all representing the 
God bless you. All right. So uh, I have a lot of 250 count. They're all uh, random. They've all been checked. They're all new, what we call dead stock. I bought out of a business years ago. And a lot of this stuff has been sitting in my warehouse in boxes. Um, this what was is it, what, is, what is it? 45s, 250 45s. I'm going to start it out at 100 bucks. Wow. And I, I wrote I wrote some titles down. So I can tell you all about what's in here. There's 250 45s. Um, they'll ship in the same box. And it looked like that's one box. That one says, I think, Fleetwood Mac. And then, then there's a bonus, but I'll get to that in a minute. And then there's this box. So like I said, it all goes in the same box. You can see some of the covers are a little kind of folded, but they're really good shape. The records are what we call pretty darn nice. They're, uh, when you pull them out, they're not scuffed and broke or anything dirty. You can just tell that these were store stock and they may, who knows what. I don't know if the guy's business closed down years ago. All right, and I want to start these at 100 bucks, and I'm going to throw in a bonus Christmas 45s. This is George Thorogood, and this is uh, Rock and Roll Christmas. Then I got um, Ramsey Lewis. This is Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer. And then I got um, her. What is this? I need my glasses. I'm getting old. All right, so I'm going to put my glasses on. Perry Como, I'll be home for Christmas. Uh, this is the Harry Simone Coral, Little Drummer Boy. And this is Gene Autry Sings, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Guy Lombardo, All Lang Syne. That's, of course, the New Year's theme. Santa Claus is Coming to Town. Uh, Christmas in Dixie by Alabama. This is Boys to Men, Let It Snow, and... Silent Night, two hits on one record. Nat King Cole, Christmas Song. Silent Night by The Temptations. Charles Brown, Please Come Home for Christmas. Awesome. Christmas Song. Um, this again is Nat King Cole on the Capitol in front. Gene Autry, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. And then Christmas at the Mission Santa Barbara. So you get all those. I think that's 15 Christmas 45s as a bonus with the 250 that I have here. And the titles are as follows. The groups in the 250 lot, um, Queen, Kiss, Bowie, Sammy Hagar, Eric Clapton, Cinderella, that's like a hairband, Creedence Clearwater, Johnny Cash, Bruce Springsteen, Police, Prince, Madonna. Rolling Stones, Elvis Costello, ZZ Top, Pink Floyd, Billy Idol, Gore, Duran Duran, U2, Pearl Jam, George Strait, Trissy Yearwood, Willie Nelson, Loretta Lynn, Dwight Yoakam, and then the doo-wop is Roy Orbison, Dion, Sam and Dave, there's some uh, Frank, Loretta Franklin, Paul McCartney, George Harrison, Stewart Mac, and Bad Company. And that's just some of what's what there is. And then, 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 on top of that, hmm, I'll just tell you, at the opening bid I'm asking for, this record will pay for it just about. This is a very collectible, new old stock. It's whatever T.L. Baird, and it, what it is, it's a, it's a soul record, but it, it has rhythm, but it, it's sought after by collectors. Let's see if I can show it to you so you can read it. Reverend T.L. Barrett, Lord's Prayer, and what they did was, and they often do this in soul, is they'll take um, religious songs and they'll add like music to it so that people can dance if they want to celebrate it. And then this is a Pearl Jam 45, Immortality. So that right there, that, I think that's around, I don't want to say the number, but I'll just say that that's close to what the opening ask is. If you want to look that up. You'll have to go to Pop Psych. Uh, maybe Discogs will have it, but eBay doesn't have this. So if you're looking on eBay, you won't find it. Um, poppsych.com p-o-p-s-i-k-e if you want to look up records you get 10 free searches and after that you got to pay each and it expires in 24 hours and then you got to pay so each day you get 10 cues or queries they call it yeah so anyway cool stuff um like if you're doing 
like I see uh, bluegrass is in here bidding on this. He's got a, a you know an antique mall thing set up, and he's got like a, a seller's booth, and I'm sure he probably just sticks these out there and lets them go at it. And uh, that's a great strategy for these because these are titles people will know and the groups people will know. Um, in the past, I kind of just grabbed a bunch of stuff and stuck it in a box. This time I spent time on it. So you won't have any like really just boring things. A lot of the stuff in here will be stuff you'll know, stuff that people will want, I would hope. So there it is, 250.45s plus the 15 Christmas and the bonus uh, Gospel Soul record. SS, SL. All right, we're at 140 with Bluegrass Picker. Very cool. That's less Anyone than a else? dollar. That's good. That's good. Connie's That's good. out. Thank you, Connie, for bidding. This is an amazing lot of 45s. Bruce Springsteen, Police, Prince, Rolling Stones. And so I'm naming off the groups, but there's multiple titles of each. So you can get like four different Rolling Stones 45s in here. I know that. Um, Pink Floyd, I think there's one. The Doors, there's a couple. Pearl Jam, there's the one. So then the country stuff is only probably 10% of the lot. The rest is all other stuff. So yay. All right. We're going to call it. Let's start calling it, Amber. T stepped away. We're going twice. Thank you. Thank you, everybody who bid. Thank you. Last call. Mookie says it's an awesome lot, Tom Cruise. Thank you, Mookie. Appreciate it. We're going to sell it. We're going to sell it. We're going to sell it. And we are sold, 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 sold to Blue Grass Picker. Wow. Woo! All right. Congrats. That was 140. Awesome. All Good right. Job. So 45 lot. 140? 140. Yep. Awesome. Yep, 140. Thank you, Anthony. You guys, if you haven't subscribed to Tom, there's his link. Visible okay, I got a, um, I got a, like a, like a dibble slash just whatever lot. Um, if you're a reseller and you're looking for something to resell, can you please type a seven in chat? Carla, I know you were joking. It's fine, honey. Don't worry about it. Here. There's my link again. <laughs> Go ahead. Show it. Show it, Tom. We want to see it. Let's okay. see. Your, let's see your dibble lot. Well, okay. So. <laughs> Show us what you're working with, Tom. Huh? This is a reseller's dream, and I'm going to start it out at a dollar. All right. And, and I know that. We're not allowed to do comps on here, but I'm begging you if I could tell you. But if you don't want to let me, you don't just say no. So I've got you guys get your uh, your eBay pen, your eBay stuff ready to go. I'm gonna start this lot at 120 bucks. Whoa! And I'm gonna show you why. Did you just say you were gonna start it at a dollar? I'm changing my mind <laughs> because here's what I want to do. <laughs> the more I looked over what I had, the more I realized, oh my gosh, if I lose it at a dollar, what would I do? Um, yeah, you know what? Let's do a dollar. Let's well, you already dollar. got farmer. You you already got farmer in at fifty. All right. Well, cool. Thanks, farmer. All right. This is rare. This is a Mac Dre. Wow. From 1993, I believe. This is not no joke. This is rare, rare people. This we is a Bay Area, yeah. Bay, Bay Area rapper that was sadly taken yes. um, some years back, but coveted in this area and beyond. And this is what's really going on. And the record is amazing as well, far as its condition. I don't even know. It's amazing. And it's not a reissue. And I know because I know. 
I knew him and whatever. But I know this not to be a reissue because I've seen the reissues of other stuff he does. This has a minor crease right here. This is on eBay. But don't confuse it with a CD. This is a vinyl record. All right. That's one item. That's one item. No, Farmers at one ninety nine. The record is in near mint condition. So what happened to him? Tom, what happened to him? What happened to him? He was murdered. He was murdered by who? Someone in St. Louis. Just somebody who he's a Vallejo Bay Area rapper. Who has an amazing, amazing uh, following? Anyway, just yeah, by he, like, just like one of his like fans or something, or was uh, he uh, somebody probably? Because you know, rap is all about the braggadocio and you know your mama kind of stuff. Mm, yeah, really worse than that. Yeah. Um, so, all right. <laughs> so you can so you can do your comps and look that up. That's sealed. This is a DJ stylus. This goes for the DJs that do the wiki, wiki, wiki on their turntables. And the reason why I know it's new, because there's a seal right there. You can't slide this cover off unless you break that seal. And this is called a Stanton 500 AL2. And it is on eBay as well. All right. And this is new. This is not used. It's never. It's a little rough because it was found in a storage locker. You know, it's a little something, but it doesn't matter. It's never been opened or used. It's a Stanton 500 AL record needle cartridge. All right. That's the second item. Third item is a very, very rare sealed South Park Mexican CD. This wow. is very rare, sealed. I know it to be original because I've done my work way back in the day. They they sold it for that much, but it is very sought after. And if you put this on your eBay, you will sell it right away. I know what that thing is worth. You can look it up all day long. There it is, South Park Mexican, and it's called uh, Hillwood. Hillwood. It's not a reseal. It's the original original. Okay, that's the item number three in that dibble lot. Um, a sealed VHS, the Warriors VHS, kind of a cool little thing. I don't sealed. know what any of this stuff is. And then I'll throw in, <laughs> boy, I'm, really, uh, I'm gonna do it. That that's the vinyl of Carol Shelby, Sound of the Cobra. There's the pinhole that where you put it on the record player. It's attached to this background with the sleeve that I put. And this is a record. You can't see the grooves, but I know they're there because I know what this is. It's a it's square record. Sound of the Cobra. And this is very sought after amongst ephemera and automobilia people. And I have it in a sleeve and it's attached to the back of uh, the, the backing board very gently with a little hot glue, which ain't doing nothing to it on the corner. And it's Sound of the Cobra, and it's got this Shelby Motor Club or something right there. Possibly. Anyway, it's it's narrated by Carol Shelby himself, who passed away. Anyway, so there's that in the double lot as well. Tom, All right, we have Christopher in at 1.30. Is that a square record, Tom? Yeah, so what it does is it goes on the turntable. Like, hold on. Well... I don't need to show you. I could just tell you. So what you do is you take this out of its plastic sleeve, right? Yeah. And then you just unattach it that I have attached gently with a little tiny thing of hot glue on the back. Yes. And you set it with the hole in the middle. Yes. On the turntable flat like that. Yes. You put the needle on it and it rotates. I don't know if you could see it, but there's grooves. I see right them. Right there. I see them. Yep. I see them. The grooves. That's where it is. I've never seen a square record before. Yeah, well, it wouldn't. Yeah, it wouldn't matter as far as as long as it doesn't go outside the circumference of the platter of the turntable. That's very so, cool. Yeah, yeah, it's it's kind of a really cool piece of ephemera, or you know, if you're a record collector and you want that. So there's that, and I think I'll end it there. I love, um, I love the cool stuff that we get to see, right? You guys like stuff that we've never seen before, like. 
that's what I love about these auctions and, you know, the different presenters that come with all the really cool stuff that we've never seen. Love it. Love all right. It. We've got Christopher at 130, right, T? Anybody else? T? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Huh? All right. You get the incredibly rare Mac Dre album. You get the really rare SPM sealed. The quick, easy little, what do we call that? A small and a little bad, a little padded envelope, and it's gone. That's an easy one. You get another small here that's sealed. This is an amazing, yeah, this, he's going to do really well on this if he wants to sell it. And then the Warriors, that's sealed. And yeah. You have a fan in the chat. Okay. Yay. Who is it? My wife? <laughs> Miss Martha. <laughs> She's oh, hey. Mr. Tom. Miss Autumn Grace. Yay. 140 to LO. All right. Thank, thank you. LO knows. LO knows. She knows. She knows. I'm surprised Marilyn Gladdy isn't here. <laughs> This right here is that bid alone. I'm there not it sure. is. There it is. Oop, there it is. Oop, there it is. That, that is the bid right sweetheart. there. There's your 150, sweetheart. Thank you. Thank you. Is the Mac Dre sealed? No, but it's near mint. And I truly believe it's near mint. Yeah. Whoever he had showed, this album, he showed it low. He showed it. Yeah, it, it did not. I have I don't see any physical signs of anybody handling it as far as any scuffs or anything like that. It's really clean. I would seriously grade this at again, I think it could be a near mint minus. But not not mint or sealed for sure. It's not it's not mint. I don't think I've ever really graded anything mint. Hard, to, you know. And when I get sealed records, sometimes I'll just open them just to make sure they're not warped. Yeah, because sealed, they, can, they they can be plate what they call plated, right? Yeah, they get um, the cellophane shrinks with the atmosphere, whether it's hot or you know warm or wherever you're storing it, and the shrink wrap pulls on the corners and it pulls in on the record and it makes it get us a, a dish. And immediately dish, when I see chill, a dish, yeah, dish. yeah, when I when I see those, I open them up right away, and and there's the SPM, the Hillwood, which I know to be very valuable as well. And there's the parental advisory, and again, I did all my research, and this is all the correct barcodes for the OG release, they call it, and it's all the titles there. This this guy's in jail. He did some really bad crap, but whatever. We're not gonna get into that. But his, for whatever reason, his stuff sells, and it's, you know, whatever. All right. Let's sell it. All right. Last call. We're going to sell it to Christopher Chatworth. Thank you. Thank you for everybody for bidding. That's my two, right? Yes, that's your two. Okay. All right, we're sold to Christopher. Thank you, Christopher. Dollars. Awesome, Christopher. Congratulations. Congratulations, Chris. Great lot. Thank you. Guys. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, if a mod wants to put in my PayPal email or if I believe Christopher Chatworth paid me with Venmo before. If he wants to choose to do that, I can get that to him. He may already know it already because he bought something from me before. Let me know if you want to know my Venmo, Christopher. Uh, T, you're up. Look uh, at you. Look at you. That's awesome. All right. Check, check. Check it, check it. You ready, T? Mm -hmm. There you go. How do you follow that? 
<laughs> right? <laughs> I want to start this next lot at fifteen dollars. <laughs> I'm and, <laughs> And, and unfortunately, it's very specific. So I have to have some Pittsburgh Pirate fans in in, in the house <laughs> because we have <laughs> we have two. <laughs> I don't know what they're, they're, they're branded M MLB. They're not. I thought maybe they might be. No, they're branded MLB. All right. Two MLB babies. One says Pirates. One just says MLB, but I know it's Pirates. You get two baseball bats from the game. You get a leather. This is a leather. What do they call this? Baseball seam bracelet. And what are you starting this out at? Fifteen. Fifteen dollars to start. And one kid's. Medium, quickly, welcome in, honey. And one adult large. Hey, Donna. Awesome job with the thumbs up, you guys. Thank you so much. And this is a uh, Delta Magnum weight, and it's a size large. So that's what you get. Adult large... Kids medium. The leather seam bracelet. Two bats. Lewis comes in at 15. Thank you. Okay. The two bats and the two and the two bears. The all-star bears. All brand new. All major league um branded. All from the Pirates All-Star game. Thank you, Luis. Yeah, it's a, yeah, it's a, a cute father. That's true, father son get gift or something. Yeah, and again, like I said, it's a little, um, it's a little specific. You have to like the Pittsburgh Pirates, I guess. But I know we have a lot of Philly people in here, so I figured. Eh. All right, any oh. other interests? I'll we'll call it to Luis. Well, I'm sorry. You're just going to have to pay attention, sweetheart. <laughs> just like, I don't even know what's up for sale. What do you mean, Denise? It's two shirts. Men's. <laughs> Adult large, shouldn't even say men's. It's an adult large, a child's medium. Two MLB bears. This is a great gift. Two vets. Oh my gosh, what a great Christmas gift. Philly, Philadelphia people hate us in Pittsburgh. I forgot about the hats. All right, let's sell to Louise. And the uh, visible bidder, that link doesn't work. Oh, your link maybe? I guess. Yeah, it the doesn't. Link? Yeah, it doesn't. Oh, how come? She probably grabbed some. I, I looks like there's some letters missing off of it. Oh, well, thank you, Invisible Bitter, for um, putting it up. All right, Tom, you got your payment from Christopher, buddy. Thank you. Yeah, it usually means there's something missing at the ends. All right, Callie, Louise, sold. 
Awesome. Congratulations. Thanks, great, nice great lot. Thank you, Janine, for helping. Thanks, Janine. All right. What is Sandy Kirk asking? Do we have a bed yet? <laughs> oh, Sandy Kirk has a new profile picture. Aww. That's a nice picture, Sandy. Oh, that's cool. That is, cool. That is so, that makes me smile. That's a happy picture. Amy, Amy's awesome. asking, is there a terrible lag? Guys, make sure you're refreshing. Okay, everybody, you know what? Let's just take a quick little break right now and everybody take the time. We won't show anything for just a few minutes and take the time to refresh. Here, you can watch this while everybody's refreshing. Right, everybody, make sure you go back to live chat now that you refreshed. Thank you for the reminder, Carla. And we're getting um, yep, feedback. We're getting feedback. <laughs> Whee! And what's Tom doing in the background? <laughs> Not that. <laughs> what are you doing, Gary? You, you, are you jumped jump out. Go? You jumped swimming? out and came back in. You got to get a new drink. I'm empty. How do I refresh? Oh, farmer, farmer, farmer. Okay, T, you got something else, honey? Yeah. All right, so it's just a little kitchen dibble. It's just a little kitchen dibble. That's what it is. All right. A couple of jello gel molds. Hi, Kalina. You get a brand new wine cork. Thank you, Susan. Get the Euro Chopper. Looks like it's never even been out of its out of its thing here. Um, I think this is a cheese grater, but I'm not 100% sure. No, that's not a cheese grater. That cuts potatoes into like French fries or diced oh, okay. onions. All right. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. So yeah, that's what it does, I guess. You know me, I'm not a kitchen person. <laughs> this is just some kind of vintage like serving tray. It's pretty. It is. Pretty and um, a little pot holder that says the city between two mountains, Floban and Bergen. Um, a sugar bowl. All right. And a set of Dankst, D-A-N-S-K, coasters. That's, um, that's that Danish com company that makes the beautiful Danish furniture that's really, yeah. um, oh, it's made in Malaysia. Oh, I thought it was the Danish company. Danced International Designs. SMHT with kitchen items. What does that mean? Um, Austin hamburger potatoes, but not cheese. Shaking my head, T, with kitchen items is what oh. Crochet is saying. Oh, okay. You know me. I bring it all. It doesn't matter what it is. 
Um, Invisible Bitter is in at 20. The slicer thingy. What about the slicer thingy? Pasta, hamburger, potatoes, but not cheese. Oh, that's what you can do with it. I gotcha. I gotcha. I gotcha. I gotcha. So, in other words, she's saying don't put cheese. Because for some reason, I don't know, the first thing I thought of when I saw it was cheese. I don't know. Maybe because the grater on the bottom. Why would you cut little? Why would you cut cubes of cheese that little? Like, what would you do with them? Honestly, <laughs> little, little squares like that. Like you could, you could put a some cheese in it, like a cheddar or something. But what would you use? Donna, it for? Tomorrow, I'm going down to the hardware store and getting me some plumber's tape and fixing the bathroom sink. I'm not cooking dinner. Okay. okay. No. Wants to know if it comes with rolling papers. Kalina said she got her books. Thank you so much, T. Oh, you're welcome. It's a French uh, fry cutter, Carla says. I could include them, Farmer, if it meant getting another few bucks. <laughs> I could include them. <laughs> we found them at her corner store. She's a regular down there. <laughs> I mean, I'm going to have some. <laughs> Just saying. They're not mine. And I never inhale. <laughs> All right, we have Invisible Bitter at 15, right? 20. 20, sorry. Is there anybody else? Anybody else? Are we going to sell it? Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. All right, let's sell it. Let's sell it. Let's sell it. All right, it's sold. Let's sell it. Mousetrap cheese. Yes. See, Shelly? Absolutely. Puff, puff, piss. No, <laughs> Christopher. <laughs> <laughs> Christopher's funny. Hi, Gina. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm dealing with this stupid pen again. Get this pen out of here. I don't know why I keep picking it up. Oh, it's Evil Lenny is on Gina's phone. <laughs> Gee, it's Evil Lenny. Oh, I won't watch Peppa Pig. Come here. Oh, all right. It's okay, Gina. <laughs> Gina Evil. Well, Lenny Evil Gina. All right, I think Gary's up. Send me cheese with that, please. <laughs> Jumba! Where have you been? She finally missed it. She missed she she Jumba. finally Jumba. We did see you. Were you out, <laughs> honey? Invisible bitter wants cheese, please, with that order. <laughs> evil Gina, Carlos says. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep, we have evil Gina. All right. I'm going to pass it over to Mr. I was going to say Mr. Tom Cruise to Gary. Here you go, Gary. Go, Gary. Woo! What's up, everyone? All right. So the next lot I got is some dollhouse furniture. Oh, nice. I'll put the camera oh, down. So you can kind of yeah. see. This is awesome. Here's the first. Yeah, this, is, this is amazing stuff right here. This is amazing stuff. Take your time showing this yep. because this is Strap beautiful in. stuff. Strap yeah, in. you guys got to really, I mean, the first lot I saw that he had was just amazing. You guys see it okay? Yeah. Okay, there's the first piece. The light is a little bit bright. What do you? What kind of light are you using? You want me to lower it down a little bit? Yeah, and, it's, and you're a little bit blurry this evening. I don't know why. Not better? It's still blurry. Do you guys see it blurry, Tom? Do you see it blurry? Oh uh, yeah, Gary. Try to turn your light ring down a little bit. It's really bright. Okay. Yeah. It, just, there's a setting on there. Just kind of maybe. <laughs> might be better. No. Uh, it it went lower, but. Let's no. See. Try uh -oh. going. Try going instead of the fluorescent one. I use the soft brown one. See if the if you if the soft brown one, um, works better for you. Let me see. Whoa, hey. 
No, that's too fluorescent. No, it's too yeah. brown. I'm just going to leave it here. Okay. And I'm going to show it. All right, here we go. So here's the first piece. Okay, yeah, now we're easy. seeing detail. Yeah, that's okay. nice when you bring it up. Yeah, yeah, that's perfect. That's good. Gary, is that wood? It's wood, yeah. No way. That's amazing. You guys look at the work in that. Okay, so that is that wood. That's one. And here's a another little drawer. That opens up. Is that dovetail? Let me see the side. Oh, of no way. Is uh, it dovetail? No, no, not me. No, the, the, not. no, the other side. Let me see the side of it. No, 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 no. Yeah. Back, Gary, right there. No, it's not. I thought it was dovetail for a minute. It looked like dovetail to me. I was going to say, what? Okay, so they both open up here. Okay, that piece. It's got like a stamping right there. Beautiful. I'm stepping away for a moment. Okay, so that piece, it's got this uh, piano. Wow, nice. It opens up. I'm gonna start this off at uh, 25. All wood. You got this piece. It's got some stuff in there. It's got like little towels in there. And you open this bottom drawer here. Joy's in at 25. It's got some stuff in the drawers too. If you guys want to see that, I can show you some of the stuff. It's got some like vintage something in there. Um, Tammy's in at 35. This thing's got like little little cloth that they have in there. Okay, so that piece too. Um, got this wood piece here. They'll open up their own hinges. Okay, there's the back, there's the bottom. Um, it's got this little What's it say? It says home sweet home on it. A little ceramic. Okay, so that piece. Um, this thing's really neat. It's on hinges. Oh my God, look at the cheese. There's your cheese, Susan Strick. <laughs> Yeah, the cheese got like a little um, <laughs> little cutting board. It looks like in there. Forty now to summers. Oh welcome, God. welcome to my kitchen. Oh please. Um, this is like little. Uh, Forty two to joy. Like little sponges. Oh sponges! I thought that was yeah. supposed to be the cheese for they the board. Like cheese. <laughs> um, oh my god so detailed this is like a ice, ice chest that has the ice block in there oh my god 50 now to Tammy wow this is amazing Gary Keep your stuff detail cold. detail is amazing right that um Imagine that was somebody's job one day. They would just bring blocks of ice. It's got this little fruit basket, bread basket. Mm -hmm. Yep. We got um, rice pala. I think there's some type of ornament that's in there. Little baby one. 
So that's in there. Um, this little guy. JJ's like, I'm not a furniture guy, but that would look good at my house. <laughs> <laughs> what do you call these things? Like you turn it around. A music, a music jack in a box. Yeah, that's like a little baby one. Mm -hmm. Pop goes the weasel usually. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, no, it's a coffee grinder, Elizabeth's saying. Oh, that's a coffee grinder. I was thinking of one of the musical ones, like that, the pop, pop out. But you're right, it is a coffee grinder. See, I told you guys I'm not in the kitchen too long. <laughs> A coffee grinder? Yeah. It's got this like black, or not black, um, this rose looking glass. Hmm. Got this thing. I have no idea what it is. Ceramic though. It's like a hat, <laughs> little hat. Farmer. <laughs> What's farmer saying? You can put your weed in there. You can put your tomatoes in there. Now I know what farm is harvesting over in his garden. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Best price I've ever seen on a grand piano. It's got this little water or juice dispenser. That little thing is metal. Oh my god. Does it match the basin? Is it the same design? Um, <laughs> okay. Sorry, farmer. It's got this cat. It looks like it's sleeping. And then a couple more little things. And it's got this little bucket. And it's got this dog. It's really heavy. I don't know what it's made out of. So that guy, and then last piece is this little pan. All right, sell it, let's go. Yeah, that's a nice collection, Gary, good job. All right, Joy is out, we got Tammy at 50. Can we see the dog again? Oh, that's good. Gosh. Oh, shoot. Mm -hmm. Adorable. And how about the thimble? The what? The thimble. Wasn't that a thimble next to the water basin and the coffee right grinder on the table? This thing on the table. On the, on the table. Yeah, look. Yeah, that thing. Is that a thimble, Gary? I think uh, so. Or it could. Be, I don't know. Uh, could it, it? It could just be a flower pot. It could. It's Somebody said no, it's a thimble, but no, it could just be a flower pot. Although Susan's saying yes, there's two thimbles because the other one on the floor or on the table there looks like it could be two next to the fruit basket. Oh, then this tree. I think it's a Christmas tree. This thing. Put it in there like that and you just Oh, okay. And you already started off with an ornament. You fluff it out. You fluff it out. Yep. And and uh, Yes, they're saying yes, it's a thimble. The dents okay. on the top mean thimble. Thimble it is. All right, where are we at? This thing's my favorite by far. Yes, requires fluffing. Yes, invisible there. All, All right. right, we got Farmer in at 55 now. Right, Summers? 
Janine, was that a <laughs> was that a typo or you teasing Palmer? <laughs> Fatmer. Fatmer's in at 55. <laughs> what a great lot this is, Gary. Awesome. And she deletes the wrong comment. <laughs> I love it, Janine. You guys can play the piano too. <laughs> oh. All right, farmers in at 55. Hi, I'm Fatmer. <laughs> oh, God. Janine, see where you started, Janine. What would you call this thing? Can't see it. It's like a glass. Ooh, fighting oh. words. What is that? No idea. Oh, that's the star for the top of the tree. Ooh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's what wow, that that's is. Beautiful. That's the star. That's beautiful. Look at that. Yeah, remember years ago we used to have those like those kinds of stars. There was a, a time that instead of a star, we used those. Oh, that right. Wow. It's like hand blown, probably. Yeah. Yeah, that's the star for the top of the tree for sure. Google is his crack pipe. Farmer <laughs> 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 says bong. So pretty. I know. I, we had one growing up. I loved it. You don't see those around anymore, do you? I don't know. I mean, I haven't really been in retail stores, so I don't know. Oh, this is like, I opened that box. Just so you guys know, and it's pretty much what it is. Uh, who's Sammy talking about? Palmer. Palmer. Uh oh. It's like a little mouse with two little hooks. Pretty cool. All right. Let's sell it. We're sold. We're sold? Sold. Who Rats. bought it? Wow. 55 to Fama. Awesome. Thank you, Thank you, Thank nice you Tamara, for bidding. Thanks, everyone, for bidding. <laughs> Woohoo! I appreciate it. Let me just put this to the side real quick. All right. Sorry, give me a second. Someone's getting a text. Ding, ding. Oh, all right. Let's see. Let me put my uh, camera back up so you guys can see who you're talking to. Woo! All right, let's try that. So this next lot, you guys still with me? Oh, yeah. All right. I'm going to include this silver piece here. Oh, whoa, whoa. A vintage, vintage box. Hang on. Talking 925, Daddy-O? 925. All right. What is the weight on that bad boy? Look at the weight right now. And you're starting. We don't use the clock, JP. There's the mark in there. Sterling silver. That's cool. I'll give you the weight. So it's going to be that piece. And the weight on that is 41.8. But the material inside, like the uh, this piece, is like ceramic in there. Mm, wow. Mm. Not sure we got a start for me. What did you have up there? What's that? Well, I, sorry, I'm not paying attention. Did you have a start price? Twenty-five. Okay, cool. 
Twenty-five dollars, guys. Twenty-five to ship. Sorry, I know the light's really bright, but work with. Yeah, me. I don't. I don't know what's going on with your light tonight. Usually, it's it's your picture is so clear. Susan's gonna start us off at twenty-five. So that piece with uh, Jason for 27, Susan now at 29, JJ in for 31. Let me move this damn camera down a little bit. I feel like I'm doing better with this. Okay. And then these two pins here. And there's some um, detail going here. And what it says is. It's Ford Aerospace. One's a pencil and one's a pen. Cross pens are very desirable. They sell really well. They're they're used, but they're in the original box. I know I tried this new this new light tonight. I might have to just can it or just set it up different, you know, because it, it is really right. Is it a ring light? Yeah. <clears throat> Maybe you've got it too close to you. Maybe you've got to raise the pedestal. Yeah, I think you're right. There it is. Oop, there it is. I love how the ears stick out on the side, the detail. That's awesome. Mm-hmm. All right, you've got Steve at 35. There's the stamping there. Just waiting on JJ. Thanks for helping out tonight, Janine. Yeah, thanks, Janine. Thanks, everyone, for helping. So this is a Ford, the Ford Aerospace pens. T, look up at the screen. <laughs> I, I swear to God, it's like crickets too. I have, I have that. Remember, I told you I have that tree. I have it up for sixty-five, and somebody says I'll give you five for it. Yeah. So I wrote back, I'll take sixty-five. Yeah. So somebody else messaged me, and I think they offered me forty, and I figured, you know what? Let's just. It's been up for so long. When can you pick it up? Uh, you know, will you take 40? Okay. Yes. When can you pick it up? Crickets now for 24 hours. Crickets. I hate right. when people do Let's that. Sell it. Farmer's in at 40. Thanks, Farmer. I wonder how old this thing is. The elephant's really cool. All right, Steve Vash is out. Thank you, Steve. <laughs> Barber. All right, going once, going twice. We're going to sell it. Sell it. Oh, God. No, the farmer for $40. Congratulations, farmer. Thank you, wow, Farmer. Right. Awesome, Farmer. Awesome. Appreciate Four. it. All right. That was my two. All right. I'm up. Who's next? Me. Donna. Next. All right. I have some old photos to show you guys. Most of them are wedding photos, and they're really, really beautiful. And the funny thing is, is I'm from Massachusetts, and these are from Chelsea, Massachusetts, which is like... See Chelsea, look at how beautiful she is. These were these came in a lot of 1940s photos. 
I'm going to start this at $25. There's that one. And there's this one. These were all from 1940s. And this one. 1943, Cambridge, Massachusetts. Isn't that funny that I came across these? Hmm. I wonder if they were sisters or brothers and they got married at the same time, maybe when their fiancés were going off to go to be in the service. 25 from Jonathan Alfaro, 27 now from Steve Bosch. They're all really beautiful and they're all different. Look at the wedding gown on this one. Wow. This one's New York City. Aren't they beautiful? They're so gorgeous and they're in perfect, perfect condition. Starting now from Jonathan Alfaro. To think that they've been preserved this beautifully all these years. Look at how beautiful she is. is isn't she gorgeous? So pretty with the Stephanotis in her bouquet. Those are Stephanotis. I know that because I'm yeah, a florist. Florist. <laughs> Those are all Stephanotis. That bouquet. And that in the middle is a Catalea orchid. Look at that. How beautiful that is. I mean, I'm thinking these must have come from like a studio because who would have like so many pictures of all different brides? This one here. Look at how beautiful. This one is from Chelsea, Massachusetts. She's beautiful. Is that bouquet like really draped all the way down? Is that yeah. what she has? I know, yep. I know how to make those kind of bouquets. But flowers it's, hanging down like that? Yeah. It's called really? a cascade. Yep. Huh. I, I know how to make them. And here's another. Look at this family picture. Isn't that awesome? Mm -hmm. Well, that's the same bride. No. You can uh -uh. tell it's the same bouquet with all the flowers. No, hanging. no, 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 no. Though that those are calla lilies. Oh, okay. Uh-uh. That this is a different different the family. The lilies are in bloom again. This is a different family altogether. Mm. Yeah. Aren't these beautiful, you guys? Oh my gosh. I think that these would be so pretty, like if if they like a, in a function hall, if they were like all framed on a wall, like on a fun in a function hall that does weddings. Wouldn't they wouldn't this be like such a, a beautiful find to like frame and put up on a wall and then there's these oh, definitely sisters oh my god right exactly alike and i think there's several of those of the same ones there's that one and you can see that the cases on them look at how perfect they're they were preserved so beautifully and this is another one of the same and another one of the same. So that's four of the same. Here's five of the same. And here we have this woman. Oh, look, it's Mrs. Farmer. <laughs> it looks like Mrs. Farmer. Hi, Brian. Did you find any divorce paperwork with all the wedding papers? <laughs> Thank you for the $5 super chat, Brian. Thank you so much. And look at look at her suit. That's definitely a union-made suit. And yep. the lava lamp is cooking up now. Look at how beautiful. Aww, so pretty. She's so cute. Um, where are we at? Just think she's only 95 now. <laughs> right. Look at how cute he is. Aww. And so he's only a hundred today. And here's a couple of black and white photos that were mixed in with this. Um, this is 1931. Maynard. July 4th, Independence Day. And this is 1931 also. All right. And 
I think her lips were colored in. And then here's these ladies again. There's a lot of these ladies for some reason. There was, um, let me see if there's anything on the back. I don't know. If you guys find any hundreds in the backs of these, let me know. And here we have, um, it's those ladies again, but in here is um, 1951 in love and memory. And this old photo. It's 18, late 1800s, that one. It's um, Italy. Oh, wow. Well. Yeah. And then this guy here must have been um, the style back then, that mustache. And then there's this man. Again, in Massachusetts. So weird. And then I have this guy. Definitely an army picture. Oops. And oh my God, Boylston Street in Boston. This oh, wow. I, I, got, to, I got a ticket over there. <laughs> I work on I used to work on Boston Street in Boston. The cave, the Vienna room, and the blue and red room. I have no idea. I have no idea when this is, but look at how awesome. The club room. Winchester Street, Boston. Huh. Isn't that interesting? And let's see what else is in this lot. There's um, a bunch of negatives in this envelope, in this old Polaroid, um, not Polaroid, but this old envelope. 1948. 1948, yeah. Wollaston, Mass. Wollaston, Mass. Susanna, are you still in the chat? Where's Wollaston, Mass? And then this one is 1941. Cute little baby. Cecilia, Adele. And that's it. That's the whole lot. Beautiful wedding photos. That's the whole lot. Was there a date, Donna? Yeah, there was dates on a bunch of them. Yeah, there was dates on a lot of them. They're all 1931 to 1940. Build your own family tree. <laughs> Everything but a green card. <laughs> no, 1931 to uh, 1941, like 10 years worth of photos. 30, 30 from Jonathan Alfaro. Any other interest? We're going to go once to Jonathan. For 30? Mm hmm. All right. Right on. <laughs> you need to name this lot, build your own folk family tree. Everything but a green card, right? <laughs> All right, we're going twice for the family photos. And we're going to sell it. We're going to sell it. Hi, Christina. We're going to sell it. All these great family photos. The bridal ones are beautiful. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be sold to $30 to Jonathan Alfaro. Wow. Nice. Congrats, Jonathan. That's a steal of a deal right there. Congrats, bro. High five. <laughs> All right. You're welcome, Jonathan. Thank you. All right. I'm going to do a um, vintage ladies lot for my vintage ladies that are in the chat. Um, this one is made in Hong Kong, British Crown Colony. Colony. There is a couple of small stains on it. I don't know if it's some sort of like um, uh, 
ceremonial dress, but this came out of my, I'm going to list this on eBay private stock. The bottom of it is velvet. This top part, maybe some kind of like dupioni silk, maybe. Uh, but it's, it's really beautiful. So there's this one. I'm going to start this off this lot off at $40 for these vintage clothes. So there's that one. This next one is a Bob Mackie and it has um, the dry cleaner tag on it and it's a size medium and it's silk. If anybody knows Bob Mackie, you know he's a vintage designer and he has a huge following for vintage people that love that designer. This one is called Blue Ice. It's 100% silk also. So another beautiful vintage top called Blue Ice. This one is a, it's all lined. I don't see a tag in it, but it might have a woman's um, union tag somewhere in it. It's an awesome design and it's long sleeved and it's a full, full dress and it's long, beautiful vintage dress. And the next piece is truly vintage with the big bell sleeves. Oh God, I think my aunt and my mother wore those. <laughs> but they're all the rage. It's, really familiar. it's long, it's beautiful, it's a chiffon. It's a beautiful chiffon dress. And then this one here, I did look up because I was going to list it and then never got around. It's called Judy Hornsby design. And it's a very cute, it's a top. And it has a matching silk skirt. So it would, Shelly, really? It's two pieces. All right, is there any interest? $40 shipped on this lot, guys. Any interest? <clears throat> okay, no interest. I'm going to call it. We're going to pass T. Okay, passing on the lot. This is like probably close to $400 worth of clothes right here. Oh, we just got two $40 bids. Yeah. Well, let's see what happens. The dress with the flowers is a wow. That Mackie top was nice. There was no bids. Shelly says amazing. I love the crop top. Before the pass, Deborah Reed comes in at 42. All right, you guys, go ahead and bid on it. We'll see where it goes. Designer clothes. Christopher's in for 60. Thank you, Christopher. Um, designer vintage. $60 to Christopher. Let me know if you want to see the pieces again. I'll be happy to show them to you. 65 would be the next bid, Deborah. If you can go 65, honey. I'm lagging a little. Sorry. After 50, we do $5 increments. 70 to Christopher. Thank you. Thank you, Christopher. There's really good money to be made in that lot. Seventy to Christopher. We're looking for seventy-five next. Deborah Reed is out. Looks like Christopher's going to get it for seventy. Seventy-five. 
Anybody else? Anybody else? The one with the circles is awesome, right, Carla? Yeah, really beautiful. All right, let's call it once to Christopher. Thank you, Christopher. Thank you, everyone that bid. No, it's not a moo moo. Far from it. They're beautiful designer clothes. Thank you, Shelly. We're going to go twice. <laughs> You're wearing chiffon, one word. Fabulous. They'll look lovely on you, Carla says. Going twice. He outbid himself, did he? No, Deborah came in in between. I thought so. And we're going to be sold. Sold, sold, sold. For $70. Thank you, Christopher, and congratulations. He gets it for 60 There was no bid after that. Uh, Deborah came in at 62 Okay. All right, thank you. All right, Christopher, thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. All right, so that's my two. Who goes up next? Tom Cruise. Thank you, Christopher. Right. There you go, honey. All right. What we have is another dibble, and it's uh, got some as oh. follows. 80. Count them. 80. DVDs. Christopher, thank you for the 70. 80 DVDs. They've okay. all been checked. They're all really nice. There might be one or two that has like a little something on them from being played once or twice, whoever knows. I went through each and every one of these DVDs. And the ones that I thought were important enough to show start price 60 bucks. And there's more to this than just the DVDs. This is uh Harry Bridges. This is Seal. This is Shakira. This is Sealed. This is Bad Santa. That's Sealed. Here we are. Let's see. Here's a cool Friday the 13th movie. That's Sealed. Friday the 13th 1 and 2. These are Sealed. This is a good one here. Peanuts, Easter Beagle. It's the Easter Beagle, Charlie Brown, sealed. And I believe that's on the 60 bucks, 80 DVDs. All been checked. Made sure that there's no junk in there. This is not sealed, but it's really clean. Real one and two, Blu-ray. Elf, sealed. Blu-ray, Elf. And Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, sealed. And just, it goes on and on. I'm not going to show you everything, but it's a lot of action. There's Holiday. There's Fantasia. Disney. Um, Culture Guys, a lot of classic thrillers, mystery. And, you know, it's random, so I don't have really have a choice here. But it's a lot of them. 80 DVDs. It's going to be a big box. Um, some of these are just amazingly clean. This is a <clears throat> hollow Texas Chainsaw. 80 DVDs starting at 60 bucks. I can show you more of those, but I'm going to show you what else I'm throwing in. 700 Pokemons. 700 what? Pokemons. Holy moly. These, these range in years of, there's a couple 2007s, 8s, lots of 11s, 12s, 13s, 14s, 15, 16, 17, 18, all the way to 20. 700 Pokemons. And they're all right there. I'm not going to show them to you. There's nothing really 
you know, I don't want to really kill the time just doing all this. Billy um, Pickerton at 65, Bluegrass Picker at 70, JJ uh, looking for 75 now. 700 cards. I, 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 I was clever enough to, to measure what 100 is. And then I piled them all up generously, and I came over. It's about 730 Pokemons, and there they are. All right, so that's that. Got the 80 DVDs. There's more of the DVDs, like stuff like this. Just a lot of action and just a lot of a lot of stuff. So, you know, if we end up getting indoors and the weather's bad you got movies to watch and then the very last thing i'm going to add to this box two pounds of ram for your salvage gold salvage two pounds of ram and some people like this because they want to get the gold out of it so i know that this stuff can sell this is only two pounds it's in my way let somebody take it away and do something with it two pounds of ram Included so 80 DVDs, 700 Pokemon plus, and two pounds of RAM for the mineral salvage. The stuff is laying around my warehouse. I don't show need where, it. Show me where the gold is right there on those contacts. See that? It's very little, but it's there. And from what I've been told. You know, you go on eBay, you see people sell them by the pounds, and you can get a couple hundred bucks for, I don't know, JJ probably knows better than I do, but if you got like 10 or 15 pounds, you can do really well. But this is just two pounds. So there's that. And I'll just throw all this in the same box or whatever, I'll figure it out. But there it is. 80 DVDs, all checked, clean. There might be a few that have a little line or something here and there, but for the most part, I chuck those or put them aside for something else. Stacey 80 DVDs, 700 plus Pokemons, and two pounds of gold salvage recovery from the RAM. Philly Pickers out. You got Stacy at 120. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> really, I got a heater going in my office. Nothing like what you guys have as far as cold, but to me, this is cold. <laughs> Got me a little space heater. I gotta sell it. All right, JJ's out. We'll go once. Bluegrass Picker is out. Stacy Balderam is in at 120, going once. All right, put that over here. Sorry, let me see. And we're sold to Stacy for 120. Nice. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. 120 to one, two, zero. And Stacy. Stacy, okay. Do uh, any of the mods still have my PayPal email up? Not I can put oh, it yeah, in. Oh they, yeah, they've been adding it to the to the message. Oh, cool. Thank you. All right. My second item is going to be another uh, hand-picked 
Um, this was not rushed because I figured I wanted it to be special. And it's going to be another 45 lot. The story, again, is I bought out of business. A lot of these records were on the store shelves just sitting. Guy didn't open the store very often. I think once a week or something. He was a retired guy. He wanted out. I bought out. I bought him out. And there it is. 250 45s. When you open them, they're beautiful. The sleeves have a little corner band here and there. I'll start this off at a dollar. 250 45s. They're country, folk, 80s, uh, soft. So this is not heavy rock. This is more like, um, let's say, just a random but softer. And I'll read off the titles that I have. 250 45s. And the rock side stuff has Def Leppard, Rolling Stones, Timba 3, Lyle Lovett, Tom Petty, Joan Jett, Blind Melon, U2. Then it has James Taylor, Carly Simon, Helen Reddy, Cat Stevens, Jimmy Buffett, Bobby McFerrin, America, Jim Croce, oh, Barbara Streisand, BJ Thomas, Smokey Robinson, Marvin Gaye, Righteous Brothers. Farmer just put a po power bit in. Look at this, okay. Tom. He put a power bit in. What, a dollar? <laughs> this is what 250 45s looks like. Doesn't look like much, but they add up. Don is at 30. Steve's at 40. Steve's at 40. Joan Jett. Yeah. Okay, let me finish reading off what's in here. Um, Sam Sham and the Pharaohs, Eric Clapton, Doors, ELO, Everly Brothers, Almond Brothers, Dave Clark Five, Letterman, Joe Cocker, Bob Dylan, Grateful Dead, Dr. Hook, Bill Medley, George um, Harrison, Paul McCartney, Ringo Starr, um, Frankie Valley, Honey Drippers, Mariah Carey, Cars, Michael Jackson, Elton John, um, gosh, there's all kinds of Cindy Lauper, Tubes, Miami Sound Machine. Um, then there's Country, there's Don Williams, Brenda Lee, Tanya Tucker, Johnny Cash. Buck Owens, Crystal Gale, Merle Haggard, Linda Ronstadt, and David Allen Coe. And then the doo-wop is Caprice, Four Seasons, The McCoys, uh, Sand Pebbles, Frankie, F I don't know what that is, Frankie Ford, Dion, Jerry Lee Lewis, Chuck Berry. When you open these out, guys, if you're bidding, you're going to see that they look like this. Beautiful. Look at that shine. There's no I scuffing. I have clicker in at 75. No dulling. There's, that's that's it right there. Most of these look that way. The jackets are maybe toned out, maybe a little, um, you know, a little bent up or wrinkled, but the records look like that. Look at that right there. They all look the same. They all came from the same place. It's amazing what's in here. And as a bonus, what did I have? Oh, I had these um these other little things. Here we go. So as a bonus, I'll throw in stuff for the kiddos. Vintage kiddo stuff. And their storybooks. Storybooks with the record inside. Cute. And this little eBay stuff. You can do these little eBay things. You can sell these on eBay. You can ship media. Shipping media is really cheap as far as on the grand scale of shipping goes. But it's 250, 250 45s in great shape with the children's stuff. I think what else I could throw in. You get Jill at 80. Yeah, it's amazing the stuff that, you know, you dig around in your warehouse, you turn over boxes, you look at things, you go, wow, where'd this come from? I forgot all about these records. Like last few months ago, I was like just pulling them out and selling them. So, hey, they're, they're leaving my possession and someone else can enjoy them instead of being stuck in a box. 85 to Bluegrass, 90 now from Jill. Thank you. Thank you. 250 45s, guys. 250. Oh, you know who's not here tonight? They would probably love it. It's two hip chicks, Dawn and Mary. Oh, yeah, they would have probably been interested for sure. They love records. Yeah. And then I still have a lot, if anybody's interested, of uh, 100 
vintage country cassettes. They're really clean. Maybe a great gift idea for somebody. But I'll be bringing those up next time around. Amazing. They look like that. I don't think the owner ever played them. They're just super pristine. Whatever. All right. Well, let's get it going. Thank you, guys. <clears throat> Going twice. Random girl is out. 95. We can't get a Benjamin from my friend Tom Cruise. Toot toot. We need a Benjamin. <laughs> Everybody done and done? Last call for the 45s. Who's going to surrender that Benjamin? It's a great lot. Oops, I just lost two. If I see a Benjamin, I'll put an amazing surprise in there. Ah, she just sold it. Okay, I'll do it next time. All right, wait a minute. Hold on. Let's change something up here. If you give him a Benjamin, he's going to throw in an amazing surprise. What do you think, Bluegrass Picker? I've got some rare 45s that I can sweeten this up with, and he knows. What he's do you think? Stuff. You guys should haven't we, even seen the rare stuff that I have in boxes that I can bring up later. Should we open it back up, or should we sell it? It's up to you what guys. Do you think, what do you think, Bluegrass? I'll guarantee you it'll be a – can I say how what the value is? <laughs> Bluegrass came in at a hundred. There you go. Thank you, Anthony. Come on, guys. I'm gonna make it sweet. Trust me. <laughs> it's gonna I've be got sweet. Twenty thousand forty fives, and I've got some really good reseller items. So, if you're a reseller, this is a good lot for you. Anybody else want to come in? He's gonna sweeten the pot with a surprise. Otherwise, Bluegrass gets it with the surprise. All right, let's start calling it. Thank you, thank you. Anthony's going to get a nice surprise. Like, I like. Thank you. We're going to go once. Jill comes in at 110. She wants a surprise. All right, and Jill's a reseller, too. She knows. What about Anthony? What about it? Super easy to sell 45s, you guys. You put them in sandwich between two thick pieces of cardboard. Eat it's the crap out of them. Ten dollars. What do you think, Anthony? Uh, crochet says, I like surprises. I gotta call T, see what's going on, where she is. Thanks everybody for bidding. Appreciate it. <clears throat> also want to thank um, a few people that have bought for me before through my illness. I was lacking on the shipping time, and I should be no problem now. I got completely caught up, and my shipping's within a day or two, maybe even three. Before, when I was sick, they were going out like a week and longer. So I apologize to everybody. But during the illness, it was hard to get it done. So I'm good now. Ooh, they're liking that surprise. You're going to have to really sweeten that pot. Well, I'm, I'm going to drop I'm gonna drop the heat on them. They, if, yes. They're liking, have it. It. They're liking the surprise. I'll put a... F yeah. I'm going to do you up. Don't worry. <laughs> when I used to do shows before all this, I would take these special boxes that look similar to this and I would have them full of collectible 45s and I have... They're, they're not going anywhere. They're still here, and they're in my warehouse on racks, and I can easily find some ridiculously rare things to throw in on this deal. When you're not selling out, you know, out in those, stuff is parked. 
And this is the only place I sell. I don't eBay or anything. You won't find me anywhere else but here. All right, you guys. T is out. Her um, internet just went down. She says good night to everyone. Oh, man. Okay. Yeah, she's going to try to get it back up. But if not, she said she's tired. She's going to, um, she'll try again. She's going to restart it. Re restart, reboot, restart, whatever it is, the router. So okay. I told her I would tell everybody good night. She's tired. <clears throat> okay. All, All right. right, let's tell it. Blue Thank you. Out. Blue Thank is you, out. everybody. All right. Appreciate that. Awesome, Appreciate awesome. it greatly. Thank you for everybody who bid in. Thank you. All right. Um, am I up? Yes, yeah, so we had Jill. Is that what we had? Yep, Jill. At 150? At 150. Thank you, Jill. And if Ahmad can put my PayPal um, link there in the chat, appreciate it. I'll show you what I have here. Is it storming out there? Oh, I don't know if it is on Long Island. I have no idea. I have no idea. Okay. I've got um, some more baseball cards from that same collection that I got. So I'm going to start this book off at, I don't know what I have here. Let's start it off at 40 and see if there's anybody that is interested in any of these cards. There's a lot here. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to flip through it. I think I'll stand up and do this. So this is what's here. Let me know if, oh my gosh, where's JJ? <laughs> we need JJ to show up. I know. Never Earlier, he was real helpful showing up. I should all the be cards. showing these tomorrow night because he knows I know nothing. Yeah, you had some real nice ones earlier. That's a huge lot. How big yeah. is that book? It's huge. Gary, Ooh. do you know the players? Can you can you call this, Gary? I can't see them that well. Um, well, just call. It. Can you call the auction? Sure. Okay. Yeah. Is T not here? No, T's internet is down. She said she might try to come back in, but she oh, might no. just um just Sorry, call it night. All right, where do you want to start this off at? 40? 40, yeah. All right, guys. $40. $40, $40, $40. 106 people in the chat. Anybody? Anybody? Ooh, look at that one up there with the glasses on. That's pretty cool. All right, we got Don in at 40. Right on, Don. Don knows the value of cards. I mean, it's crazy how hot sport cards right now are. It's insane. Good night, Mimi. Thanks for hanging out with us. Casual Flipper in at 2042. No, but I'll, I'll give you some date ranges after I flip through them. Maybe you guys can recognize some of them. 90s. I mean, there's a ton of cards. All right, Don's in at 50. Yeah, bluegrass is saying 90 upper deck. JJ Sane Studio. What does that mean? Studio. What do you mean, JJ? Can you drop the StreamYard link for JJ? Yes, I can. And JJ, as soon as you come in, I'll remove the link. Well, I'm not going to let anybody in, even if they... Look at my lava lamp, you guys. Wow, that is cool. 
Yeah, somewhere it says I have thousands of these, but need to go through them. Be right there. You want to come in, farmer? <laughs> yeah, come in, farmer. You want to come in? Come on. I dare you. I double dare you. Mm -hmm. I double dare you. Uh, <laughs> oh, farmer. Yeah, everybody's daring them now. Take a shot and get up here, farmer. Come on. I don't have the balls. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got Don holding the high bid at 50. No, they don't. They look like they were put in the book and never touched. I'm not even halfway through the book. The dream team. Treasure hustlers. What? Treasure hustlers. Uh, Treasure hustlers here. Here. Good to see you, Jackie and Sarah. Hope you're well. Yeah, these were put in here and never touched and just stowed away in a storage unit. These came out of a storage unit. All right, Jackie and Sarah in at 55. Dawn right back in at 60. I need JJ's auctioneer voice. The brah, brah, rah, rah, rah. He goes super loud. <laughs> Wake these people up. Hustler's back in at 65. I mean, that's a ton of cards. And the book is completely full. So you know that it hasn't been, like, picked through. No cards have been taken out. Like, this is it. You know, this Going is at 70. They put these cards in here, and this is where they stayed. So, yeah, it's a huge book. Huge. Yeah, that's a lot. That's a lot. Mm. I didn't even count the pages. I have no idea. So is there just one card in each slot, or is there like one on the front side and one on the back side? Can you just look on the edge? Maybe you'll be able to look on the edges. There might be one card in each one. Or no, there's two. Okay, so that's nine. That's, two. Eight, that's 18 per page. And if you count the pages, there's your math. Okay, so there's one, two, three... Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two. Wow. 35,
59, 60. That's over a thousand cards. Over a thousand. Easy. 60 pages. Wow. Mm, 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 mm. That's 900 mm -hmm. cards. What's the bid at? Three times 18, right? That's what it would be? Yeah, 18 times. Yeah. I had a 1,080, I think. Yeah, casual flippers at 1,080 also. Wow. Roughly. A thousand no, cards. Yeah, roughly. That's crazy. All right, we got uh, Hustlers holding the high bid at 75. Anybody else? Don is out. Thank you, Don. Nobody else interested? Mm, mm, mm. Not even for me balancing it on my head? Wow, <laughs> look at that. That takes talent. <laughs> I balanced it on my head. All right, let's call it to the treasure hustlers. Woo! $75. Woo! I bid to the hustlers. Every day I'm hustling. Every day I'm hustling. Don's like, I tried. <laughs> Don. Thank you, Don. <laughs> Yeah, that was a steal of the night. Uh, that that was a good lot, man. That was good. Yeah, this is a good lot. The photographs was the steal of the night. Holy yeah, I think God. you're right. Then I'll follow right. with those photographs. Mm, yeah, those are beautiful. Sports cards book. Three dollars super chat from Treasure Hustlers. Treasure Hustlers, yeah. thank Woo. you. You guys, drop your link. You guys go over and follow the hustlers. Hi, hey, Betty Webb. The birthday girl's back. Betty Webb, happy birthday. The birthday girl is back. Betty Webb getting turned. Getting turned. Sold, 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 sold to the hustlers for $75. <clears throat> awesome. Thank you, ladies. Wow, great deal. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Awesome deal. Very good deal. Ton of cards for 75 bucks. Yeah. Um, I need to mark this book. Awesome. Gary, you want to go? Yeah, I can go. Donna, did you already do two or no? I did one. Okay. Oh, you want okay. I'll do one more real quick. Okay. I'm gonna do this. I'm going to do this lot and I'm going to start this off at um, $30. $30 for this lot. Hold on. Let me just fix this because my daughter put this together and they're all like wookie. They're all going in different directions and just try to fix it a little bit. Okay. And here we have it. This one. I don't know if this is metal or silver. I didn't look at it. So let me get my loop. This is what I have. This is what I have. Um, let me just fix it this way and that way. Okay. Wow, those are pretty. Thank you. $30 to start. Look at that bling bling one. What's that, a dolphin? The dolphin looks awesome. And then this one is the one that's kind of like, I don't know, all of these little charms dangling from it. Don't know what that's all about. What lot am I on? I'm on lot, this is going to be my lot 21. Starting bid $30 on this. Anybody? All right, Miss Autumn Grace comes in at 30. Good to see you, Miss Martha. Thank you, Miss Martha. Hey. Oh. Lost the loop. What was in that fireball? <laughs> lost, <laughs> lost the loop. Hey, 
Some of them are missing stones, I think, or is that just shading? Let me see. I don't know if that's shading. Let me see. Uh, no, it's missing. Missing stones. So this one, that one there is missing some stones. That one looks complete. That one looks complete. The fish is complete. This bling bling one is complete. This one is complete. Don't know what that is. The zigzag is good. That's good. That GOP is good. This one. All right, we got Miss Martha in at 35. This one's missing some stones too. This one here on the end is missing some stones. So you've got two of them have missing stones. Wait, Miss Martha, I think, is bidding herself up. Unless I missed a bid. That one is complete. Look at the pearl on that one's all faceted. It's pretty. Okay, that's it. Let's see where we're at. Miss Martha's at 35. Yeah, no, Susan was at 32. So Miss Martha's at 35. Okay, because she retracted. I was just making sure. Oh, she did retract? Yeah, on the YouTube side, it shows retract. Uh, oh, Susan retracted. Summers is at 37. Okay. Fixed. Christina's at 40. Summers is at 42. They're really pretty. Thank you. Summers is at 50. Do people buy buttons, Donna? What's that, what's that honey? Do people like buttons, you know, like... Yes, they do like buttons. Do they? Yeah, a huge bag. I'm gonna try them. All right, summer's in at fifty. Christina at fifty five. Damn, we're saying buttons. <laughs> All right. We need some outs, guys, if you guys are out. Autumn Grace is out. Christine is at 55. Summers is out. Christina, I'll look and see if I have some that I can... I'll send you the ones with the missing stones, but... I'll see if I can replace some of the ones with the missing stones with some that don't have missing stones. My daughter put this together and she probably didn't check it. No, I'll go once. I go usually twice. put ones with missing stones in like craft jars. So I'll um I'll make sure that um the two I'll send two more that um don't have missing stones on them. This is my lot number twenty one. Brooches. Sold, sold, sold to Christina. Thank you so much, sweetheart. All right, Gary, you ready? I'm going to try these buttons, see how they do. All right, awesome. We'll start them cheap. All right. Woo! What's up, everyone? <laughs> what everyone do? We got 84 people still here. 
Thanks yeah. again for hanging yeah. out. Yeah. Special yeah. thank you yeah. to Donna and T for allowing Tom and I to come on here and hang out with them and sell some stuff. So, all right, I'm going to show you guys. So here's a huge bag of really cool buttons. So, button, button, who's got the button? Some of these have like, like lion's heads and. Uh oh, the Vikings are home. They're really cool looking. It's twelve oh three. Start off at five bucks. Five, five bucks. bucks. I mean, some of them almost look like freaking coins. It's crazy. And you got um, like all these. Five bucks. I'll show a little couple of them up close so you guys can see. There's a lot in here. Like for instance, there's one there. one button there's multiple of those in here um all right let's see we had these are like summers in five steve fashion at five fashion at seven summers at ten bowling pins that are all uh, string right now dylan at 12 thank you summers back in at 14 Kathy turned to us at 16. Thank you. Summer's in at 20. Thank you. Thank you. This one's pretty cool, too. So there's no no way of knowing the count. There's just there's, in there. there's a ton. Yeah, no doubt. All right, Steve Vash says he's out. Thank you, Steve. Uh, Summer's holding it at 20, and then Kathy came in at 22. Thank you. We've got a bunch of these. Um. Amber uh, ooh, uh, Crochet says vintage for sure. Evil Lenny, any belly buttons? <laughs> <Are they? laughs> yeah, they're really old and they're heavy. And there's a lot in here. Thank you, Jill. Good night. Have a good night. Jill, I do have an amazing reseller lot if you want to hang on. You might want to check this out after Gary. Done. Yeah, there's a lot in there. So high bid right now is Kathy Turnquist at 22. We're looking for 24. A ton of buttons. Potentially Navy, some military. Um, yeah, obviously for uniforms. Thank you, uh, Amber, for mentioning that. There's some like really cool, um, like lion head ones too. Let me see if I can grab one of those out real quick. Oh, here's here's one. One, cool. Let me check that one out. Oh, that is that is cool. The lion's head. Huh. So, all right, let's sell it. All right. I just wanted to try it. I mean, you know. Yeah, it looks like Kathy Turnquist mm -hmm. might steal this at 22. Summer says she's out. I, I missed it. They look oh, exciting. Cool. Are they, are yeah. they vintage? We, we think so. The potentially Navy. Amber uh, Ua says potentially Navy. Some other stuff. Just very random. Of course. Yeah. Ooh, the sailor ones are cute. Yeah, they're all cool. All right, we're going twice. 
We're going to sell it. If anyone wants to come in, now's the time. for. We're looking for 24. Oh, there you have it. You guys, make sure you search good through that bag because if you come across like Gucci buttons, they sell oh. a lot of money. Do they? Yeah, no. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. No. Any, any designer buttons sell for a ton of money. All right, sell it. What do we got on this one? You have sorry, uh, sorry. A little late. You have Kathy. Kathy. Turnquist at twenty-two dollars. All right. Wow. Congrats. That was a nice little deal there. Killer deal. Got another lot to show, Gary. Uh oh. Yeah. Summers just came in with the bed. I know. I think she was too late though. Yeah. Thank you, Kathy. Thank you, Summers. Thank you, Kathy. All right. All right. This next lot kind of sweeten it up a little bit. So I got ten sets of these remotes. Okay. Huh. They all work. Sets of two. They all have their battery in there. As you can see, the red light. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. They all work. Um, can you show the folks in chat maybe the model number? Maybe they could do a uh, yep. so look those up, guys. I think these go for uh, like 30 bucks or more for the kit each. Yeah, I'm not going to share. If they want to look, they can. Um, I'm sorry. I, I shouldn't have said that. My bad. No, you're good. You're good. Um, so there's going to be a set of 10 of those, okay, that are new, ready to go. 10 of those, and I'm also going to throw in a brand new Nest camera, wireless. Mm. I wouldn't say it's wireless. Let's see. Plug and ready, go, security camera. So if you guys want to do that, you should do that separate. Comp that. I'm going to do it together. Yeah, because there's a lot of people that are looking for cameras. Are they? they they may not want the remotes. Okay. Okay. I don't know. Just a suggestion. But if you want to do them together, it's your, it's your, it's your, it's up to the people. Your deal. Just trying to give them a good lot to either resell or let's, let's just put them together. 50 bucks start. Okay. Yeah, that's no problem there. There's every bit of 50 bucks sitting there. Oh, just, yeah. All you have to do is comp this baby. Yeah, and they got time. We're not going anywhere. You guys, you want to look at your your stuff, check it out and make sure if you're a reseller. Christina came in at 50, and then Jonathan comes right in at 55. Cool. All right. Philly, we're looking for 60. Is there eight remote sets? Total of ten. Ten. Oh my god. I have these all in my house. They work amazing. You can be anywhere, check on your house or outside, your garage, your goods. Free shipping. Sixty-five to Jonathan Alfaro. Hello, Anna Mora. Thanks for coming in. Hi, Anna. They do work in the bedroom. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't know. Leave it to Palmer to ask that question. <laughs> Camera's brand new sealed. Don't sleep on it. Yeah, the remotes alone are, yeah, good money. I mean, just to, um, even if you were just to sell the cases alone with no inserts, check to see what those sell for. Just the batteries alone in these suckers right here. Or crazy. 
right? I had to buy a replacement for our Suburban, one similar to this one. It was 45 bucks just for the outside. Not the They're so expensive. It's cosmetic, you know what I mean? I lost, um, I misplaced, I found, thank God, the key, the the key starter for the key thing for my Denali was $200 to replace it. Crazy, right? He, yep. $200 to replace it. My husband was looking online to see if he could find one like aftermarket and reprogram it or, but I found it. Thank God. Oh, Jonathan is at 110. Stink sealed. One twenty is the next bid we're looking for. So how's everyone doing? doing we're good? Good. I'm meeting myself a nice refreshing orange. Ooh. Ooh. No it's fireball. Christina. Christina's out. No, no fireball. fireball. It is ice cold. Could have turned down that refrigerator. There's not enough food in it, so everything's freezing cold in there. Ten of these guys, ten of them, ten total. Right, two, four, six, eight, ten. Yeah. Smalls, easy to ship. Yep. Stuff in an envelope, first class for the remotes, anyway. Philly's at 120. I've got an oxen. Alfaro comes in at 130. Woo. Thanks, guys. Appreciate no, it. No, you make sure when you ship those remotes that you wrap each one of them really, really tight with bubble wrap and <laughs> around oh, you, and every you one know, of them. You know I will, Donna. Oh, my God. You're ridiculous. Yeah, just slap it in a manila envelope. Uh, there you go. <laughs> hurricanes. He's like OCD when it comes to his wrapping. I really am. You should see my Christmas presents to the kids. And I look at them, just tear it apart Christmas Day. <laughs> Jonathan is at 1.30. Come on, Wes. <laughs> Philly comes in at 1.40. What's West man? These boys want this deal. Get your remotes. Get your camera. <clears throat> Jonathan is out. Thanks, bro. Appreciate it. For 150, we're going to call it once. Philly Picker, thank you, buddy. It's a good vibe, man. <laughs> You put up a good fight, Jonathan. Hey, Thank dude. you so much. Woo! This alone would do good. Yeah. We're going to go twice. Who's ready for a drink? Anybody? Right? I know I am. Sold, 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 sold. The Ember's sold. There we have it. There Thanks, she is. Bro. Payment due immediately. Sold, sold, sold. Lot number, lot number eight. Was that all you run? Something like that. Great deal, Christina says. Billy Picker, thanks, bro. Jonathan, thanks for bidding. Everybody bidding. Thank you, thank you so much. I do appreciate it. I really do. Thank you for bringing such great lots, you boys. Of course. All right. All right. What are we doing? I will go to Tom. He's ready. He's ready for his next one. I don't know what that means. Gary, educate. What? Turn. Get I turn. I mean, just get twisted. Just get wild. And I've never heard of that word before. Turn. Mm -mm. It's getting turned. Like, wow, fireball Ew. shot, fireball shot. And 
No, he was holding that when he was in the green room in the fuzzy room earlier, and I had no idea what he was trying. I'm like, I can't even read that. I have no idea what that word is. I've never even heard of it. Go to the Urban Dictionary. How do you, how do you say it? Turned. You say it really right. quick. Turned. 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 Okay. Turnt. All right. So resellers, I hope you're ready. So as most of you always hear me say, I don't eBay. I don't sell anywhere but here, obviously, for many reasons, including the crap that's going on right now. I have 100 sealed of the 100. I think it's like four or five that are not. I'm crazy for doing this, but I'm going to do it. All right. I'm all out the merch, 100 CDs. Like 97 or 95 are sealed. It's probably four figures in value. I want a starting price of $300, and I'm going to show you why. Oh, my gosh. This item, I, this is my last, second and last one. This one sold. I have two in the All same right. shape. Um, if you guys want to take screenshots, I'll see if I can put this up. Okay, I don't know. I got... 95 gangster rap sealed CDs. This comps, mm, it's it's up there. Wait, there. you have 95 of those? No, of no, no. I've got many of different ones, and they're all sealed. And I've done all my research. All the barcodes, all the data matches up to the originals. In this game, there's a reissue game. This is not that. This is me, a purveyor of music that gets stuff all the time and had it stacked up in my warehouse that to collectors, this stuff goes really high. All right. 95 plus sealed. 95 plus sealed CDs. This is the same guy. There's like five and six of this, seven or eight of that. Um I'm not joking, people. This is four figures right here. If you want to turn some money around, 300 to make that. I'm not playing. I back up what I claim. I've checked it out. You could say, well, Tom, why don't you sell it to other people that, that buy this? Well, I'm here. And if, you, if anybody's interested, it's an opportunity. And I'm here to bring resellers an opportunity. 300 bucks to make four figures. Wow. It's, I'm not playing. I got... Look, this is the box. Sealed. Whoa. Wow. Is There's a hundred or plus in total. And just in the first probably five CDs I'm showing you is your money. At least 300 bucks. You can do these. These are so easy. They're sealed. You don't have to say anything in the description. They go into a padded envelope, and away they go. Count your money. I don't have a lot of this. This is something I turned over a box. I didn't remember that I had them, but obviously I have them. And I'm bringing them today because we're just doing what we, this is what we do. You won't see me with any more of these probably for a while. See, um, they're all Susan Arrington wants to know what kind of music it is. Gangsta Rap. And they're original releases. They're not reissues. Saxon Cole comes in at three Benjamins. Nice. Saxon knows. There it is. As there a bonus, is. as Boom. a bonus, I'm gonna throw this in. This is Tupac in his own words. And I believe this to be a nice little happy comp. So Tupac in his own words. I know my business. And I know what barcodes and I know what the matrix numbers are on the discs. When they make discs, they assign numbers to them so you know if they're the first pressings or not. This is the first pressing of South Park Mexicans Hill Wood. This is three figures alone. I, I know we're not supposed to say comps, but there's no other way to really like give me the uh, the enormity of what's sitting here. Gangster rap sells, guys. Now, mind you, there's also some hard house in here. And the comps are good on these as well. 
So you're not going to get 95 sealed $100 things here. I'm not claiming that. But I'm telling you there's four figures of material here to sell. Stick them in an envelope. They're sealed. You don't have to do anything but just list. And they're gone. And this, right, uh, does anybody else want to come in? We've got Saxton at one, uh, 300. <clears throat> anybody else want to take a stab at it? Or are we going to sell it? Are we going to sell it? Sell it. Sell it. I mean, this is a killer reseller lot here. Oh, yeah. yeah, I was going to save this for a rainy day and then, you know what? I want to bring it into the auction. I'm going to do it. Oh, my gosh. This is a, a little crack on that one, but that's no big deal. You just tell them that it's how, there. How many, Tom? How many total? 100 and like three or something. So I just had 100. 100 discs, right? Yep. And then this one is a monster right here. Hustle Town, South Park Mexican, another South Park Mexican. It's, it's major. Another another hitter right here. This is Assassin. This stuff is ridiculous. These are so easy to list, you guys. You just oh, they're, the they're amazing. Code, yeah, boom, totally. you're done. And then here we go again. More South Park Mexican. And another same thing, but different year. I mean, when it comes to this kind of music, when they're sealed and they're the originals, the math, the math gets crazy. The math gets crazy because the, the enormity of their popularity. All right. Susan Arrington came in at 310, but Saxton comes right in at 320. I just comp one myself and cheese. Yeah, it's, it's sick. It's sick. It's pretty sick. This is a killer lot, guys. I mean. Jeez, I'm thinking about bidding on it and giving it to my son for Christmas. Serious. No, I'm I mean, serious. And, my, and, I can, and say to him, here, learn how to list on eBay and turn this, you know, $350 or whatever it goes to into, you know, a thousand plus dollars or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. What a great gift. Yeah. Right? This, this, isn't, this isn't even, this is. This is what you call, I mean, like I said, I don't do eBay. I don't do anything. I used to do that stuff, and I got tired of it. I got tired of just, no, I, I have so much fun doing this. There's, I don't want to change what I'm doing. Susan Arrington's at four. 400. Wow. Sexton's at 410. Woo! You go, boy. Thank you so much. This is an awesome lot. I've never seen anybody bring such an awesome lot to auction. This is amazing. And you, guys, find, um, and you guys that have stuck through it, it's through the whole, we've been on for almost four hours. You guys are getting to see this first. This game. is the first release for the coup. coup. This is a Bay Area thing. This is on um, the Dog Day imprint, and it's not a reissue. There's the barcode that tells you everything right there that's the first one released in 98 susan arrington I, came in at 420 saxton's come right up behind her at 430 so that got five four of these this is another heater here this is an off you wouldn't look at this and think it's anything this is called abstract tribe unique what is going on here? Saxton Cole comes in at 460. Nope. Saxton's at 430. Susan Arrington's at 450. Saxton's at 460. Susan's at 475. Boom. Check it out. You go, Tom. Yeah. Get it. I love it. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much for supporting Tom. This means so much to me. Thank you. I mean, there's. There's money there. There's a lot of money there. Ding, 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 ding. Five bills from Sack. Ding, 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 ding. Damn, I'm going to go pour a drink for that. Go get a drink, Gary. Go get a drink. I'm getting turned. That's it. I got to get one, too. Do it. This is crazy. This one here is another monster. This is called Prodigy. A long time coming. It's not gangster, gangster, but it's 
super in demand. And there oh, Susan's reached six of it. those. Six of those. Whiskey time. <laughs> Gotta love it. Gotta love it. There's a hundred discs in plus in total. And oh, I believe about 95 or more are. Oh, here we go. Here's two, four, six, eight, ten of these. Graffiti Nights 09 by the Twomp Nine crew. I think this is a 209 thug rap, like gangsta rap. And these are, and no barcode. That tells you they never even went retail with these. See wow. right there? That means they were trunk selling. Wow. He's out of their trunk. There's like 10 or 11 of those. Holy cow. Yeah, these were, yeah. I turned this box over and I thought to myself, well, what are we going to do with that? Here we are. All right. Guys, stay house. tuned. Stay tuned because next I'm going to be showing five dollar stuffed animals. <laughs> <laughs> oh, brother! I'm trying to find what I did with that SPM. All right, we're going to call it to Paxton. If everybody's out and out and done and done, we're going to sell it. As Chris the Goose and JJ say, we're going to sell it. We're going to sell it. Don't forget, I got that Hillwood. By SPM. Holy cow. This one on its own is a monster. And there's one in here sealed. Farmer, meet me in the corner. Hillwood, South Park Mexican. It's the correct barcode. There it is. Screenshot it and check. Elizabeth, you ready to go? Screenshot that. Who else wants to and come? Do your, do your deed. That's That's money right there. We all need to go to the corner for a minute. EOP 5033. Holy cow. All right. Let's call it. Thanks, guys. We're sold. We're sold. I didn't even see it. We're sold. Sold, sold, sold. Saxon call. Boom. Wow. Five, score. Five bills. Wow. Score, score, score. Thank you very wow. much, everybody. Sold, sold, sold. That might be my last lot tonight. We'll see. That was killer, dude. That was so killer. Wow. Yeah, here it is right here. This I got only two left. I sold one earlier, and this is the last one that's in this lot. There's wow. one of these sealed that'll be in that lot. <laughs> Grab the liquor and let's hit the corner, y'all. <laughs> right? <laughs> All right. Wow. Amazing. It's like one, 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 I think. What is that? What are you saying? What is she saying? Word. Thank you, Saxon. Let me look at it. Check it. Do some Donna. Uh, check. Donna. Yes, dear. Can you yep. bring it to Can you Thank bring you, Saxon. My daughter wants to say hi real quick. <gasps> Let me see. So this is Kylie. Hi, Kylie. She's Hi. the middle. So nice to meet you, honey. You too. How old are you? Ten. Oh my gosh, I remember being ten years old. Oh, that's cool. Ten years old is <laughs> awesome. You got you just enjoy it so much, honey. Oh my gosh, you're so beautiful. Thank you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> awesome. This is my youngest, Chloe. Hi, Chloe. Hi. Oh my gosh, you're beautiful too. How old are you? Six. <laughs> right on. Does that mean that you're in first grade? Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. What's, <laughs> your favorite, what's your favorite subject in school? To do art. Art? Oh, yeah. I knew you were going to say that. I knew it. Art was my favorite project, too, my favorite subject too. Come say bye. Thanks bye. for coming. Bye. Coming on the camera. Bye, honey. They want to say that. Like, yeah, can I come on and say hi? Like, yeah. yeah. He's at a um, little party, a little get together. Oh, yeah. He's almost 13. He's getting to that stage. We're hanging out with girls. Yeah, it's and awesome. Yeah, it's awesome. 
Next time we'll have to uh, meet your son. It's so cute. Tom, what do you got for us? You got another lot? I do. Um, it pales in comparison to the last one, but it's a, a total one. It's a total 180. Um, if you guys are down for this, I mentioned earlier this evening, many of you may have heard it, maybe not. Uh, there's still 90 plus in the chat, so we'll see. Um, I've got a monster load of cassettes. The great gift idea. And they, they came from an estate. So they're just unbelievably clean. I mean, they're just in, you know, when you get tapes, they're grimy. You know, they're just yeah. not nice. I always get grimy ones. You open them up and there's spider webs or there's rat stuff. These are beautiful. Oh, my God. There's a hundred tapes. They're all country. Most of them are all country. Vintage country. Let me read off the titles. I'll start this off at 60 bucks. Six there's over a hundred. I believe there's a hundred here. You can kind of see in the scan. I don't know. I'll tell you what they are. But there's George Strait. Randy Travis, Brooks and Dunn, um, Gary, Hart, <laughs> Randy Travis, George Stray, let's see, Johnny Cash, Farber. <laughs> hey, bro, come on. Sorry, Sorry Tom. <laughs> hey, right, where the Kenny Rogers at? <laughs> All right, um, He's such a <laughs> oh my gosh, Conway Twitty, John Denver, Roy Clark's. John Anderson. Wait, um, Tom. Amazing, amazing, amazing stuff. Can I ask a question? Yes, please. What do you What do you got hanging up back there? You're drying sausages or something? No, I got pot, man. <laughs> what is that? What are you yeah, drying weed. back there? Yeah, weed. That's 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 <laughs> my. Are we drying back there? <laughs> I, I got I got no I got busted, bro. Busted. Seriously, fur, what is fur pelts? Fur pelts hanging. What is it? It's marijuana. No, it's not. You're right. It's not. <laughs> no. What is it? What is it? Oh, my God. I want to see it. I'm going to get demonetized if I bring oh. it to the camera. No, it's just oregano. It's no, um, I, 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 in California, it's, it's legal to grow. <laughs> and I grow medicinal strains. I don't grow the... Let's get happy, crazy, ha ha hoo. Yeah, right. it makes you feel good and, and happy, but it's not like take you to the moon kind of stuff. Tom, really? Tom, that's like we're the state or something. <laughs> so, anyway, anybody so, want to play with these cassettes? If not, I'm going to put them away. 60 bucks to open. It's Sage Elizabeth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right, 20 people. <laughs> Tom's like, get back to business, guys. Come on. <laughs> Having an auction here. Oh great, great gift idea. You know the old, You know some some senior people still have cassette players. Farmers got one in his tractor. People that have them still like to play country. No, because that's what making a comeback. I'm telling you. I'm not. Yeah, I wouldn't. If these were crap, I wouldn't put them in front of you. They're really nice. And then some of them are, are off the country genre and they're like collections. Long in the Wind are like soft rock. And then there's a Super 60s, which is a great compilation. But they're just, just beautiful. I mean, you look at them, there's nothing wrong with them. So I think a 60 is a good uh, open because of the shipping. Joy, Joy, pass, pass. Joy wants to bid on the sausages hanging behind you. Yeah, well, <laughs> come to California, I'll give you all you want. Get turned. Get hurt. Yeah, those, um, well, that's the one thing about California, I think, beyond all the crap that goes on in the state that we're allowed to do. And, you know, I have early onset of just the silly stuff that I go through sometimes, and the medicinal stuff really helps. I make salves that you put on your arthritic elbow or knee works instantaneously it's really good and then uh yeah oh so forth and so on cool not shy not shy that's cool all right so that's that
That's where those were my two. Nobody bid on it. I don't think so. Nobody wants the gangster, to. The gangster rap blew them out. They're focused on this oregano back there. They didn't even see yeah. what was going on. I know. I'm sorry. Damn, let's see if I can get some light on. <laughs> what do you got hanging back there? Oh, look at that. <laughs> I want to see it up close. What's behind the sheet? What is that thing hanging up over there? That was my backdrop when I wanted to use it. That's where all the goods are. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? It's what oh, you do okay. is you you release one side of it and it hangs like this. <laughs> when you want to. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Look at that. Mm. This is a pen. This is a Pennywise strain. This is a 50-50. So it, it's a uh, 50% CBD and then 50% THC. <laughs> and the unique things that I've discovered with the 50 <laughs> is that they offset one another. Yeah, they're Farmer's really cool. Bitty. Farmer's got a bit at 50. <laughs> Our student comes in at 20. Farmer's at 50. Um, <laughs> how can you tell from the seeds? Like, what do you do by certain, oh, like, man. certain seeds? Or do you yeah. make the seeds? Yeah, um, if you want the medicinal stuff, you can buy seeds from online. And they'll even send you um, predetermined females so you don't grow a bunch of seeds and end up with males. Because you don't want males. Unless, of course, you're trying to, you know, clone or do some other things with blending different strains. But you can buy female seeds online, I think, for like 10 bucks or something. Tom, I think I'm going to be making that trip a lot sooner than I think. How, how, in, the heck do you, how in the heck do you determine a male from a female? Um, in a microscope. You just look at the seed and the way it looks around the outside and it, they somehow they can tell. And, you know, they're not always sure. Sometimes you get them and they got balls when they grow. Now you I know what you're, what you're putting in all those packages, man. <laughs> Little sample pack. Yeah, so that's that's what I got Ooh. when I... Uh, what do you mean they have balls? <laughs> when, the, when the males grow up, when they start maturing, they start showing out all these little tiny balls and you got to get them cut. You got to cut them balls before they open up and throw all their stuff everywhere. You're if, you got, if you got females around, right, Gary? Yeah. Are you are you serious? Are you just I'm telling dead us serious? Stories? If you grow two plants side by side and you don't know what they are, and you just grow them just because you like growing stuff, and then all of a sudden you start seeing how they're developing when they get bigger, <laughs> it's easy to tell the females from the males. Yeah. The thing is, you don't want no males. Gary. Males get cut down. Gary's leaving because you're just making stories up and he can't hold a straight face. Right, you guys? No, he's, he's talking serious. Um, anyway. It's, hey, it's, Donna. It's, it's, it's from the earth, so what the heck. And it actually yeah. works, believe it or not. I Yeah, I don't really... Anyway. Whatever, I'll end it there. Anyway, that was my lot. My how, can you, didn't tell. how can you... All right, just one more question and then... Yeah. How can you how can you how can you tell the balls on a <laughs> on a plant to cut them off? They what do well, you Well, so when the plant's coming up, you see, it <laughs> do doesn't you need... show it doesn't show until like the midterm when it's growing. And about I don't know, for me it's something like about the four month mark or so, I think, is where it starts really maturing. And then if you start seeing these little tiny things around where buds should be if it's a female yeah. then you need to cut it down and get rid of it if you have a female nearby because what will end up happening is you're crossing strains and you don't want that because you know so, so do you use scissors to cut the balls off or do you No, like you just cut the whole plant down and throw it in the garbage can you throw or the man away you toss the dude dude's not required so you, only, go. so you only should grow female plants? Yeah, because that's where the the honey is. Donna's going to start making plants and cutting balls. 
So this is an educational now. So I can, yeah, I got to look that word up too. So now I can turn, I can turn this video into instead of entertainment. No, don't, don't take my word for anything. Educational. I, I just put it in the ground watch it go crazy. And I know when to take it down. And then I put it like I do like right there. And now it goes into jars after I cut all the important things off and throw the rest away. <laughs> Jerry. See what happens? Saxton, it's all your fault. You did this. Whew. <laughs> Donna was asking what was hanging back there. That's where it started. <laughs> all right. Well, the, the big black thing is my backdrop, and I'm not obviously using it. If I had just put it down, you would have never seen that. That's where he's hiding all the goods. I guarantee I thought, it. I thought you were drying sausages. My father used to dry <laughs> sausages when I was Actually, young. I could have just said that and made it easy, right? I don't know. He used It was it's called supasada. For all the waxes. Yeah, see, Betty Webb knows. Mm -hmm. She knows. So it's legal. So it's legal. Oh, yeah. You can yeah. have some stuff. Yeah, see, there it is right there. You don't want that. You don't want Mookie. to be smoking, and then all of a sudden, all these seeds start popping on you, and that's a horrible thing. Mookie wants to see what these balls look like, Tom. You have a sample? Yeah, I've cut them all down and tossed them already. I don't, the thing is with those, if they open up, the pollen can go for 20, 30, 40, 100 feet and pollinate other females in the area. And then your neighbors are pissed because they don't appreciate that. What's that? Hmm. Where's, oh, you're going to move the truck in? Yeah. Here. Crystal, how are you doing, Crystal? So, Gary, you're going, you're going to have a nice vacation? Long freaking drive, man. Are you going to go, Gary? I don't know. I'm still on the fence about it. Yeah. Gary, you going to show something else? Yeah, I got something else. Cool. What about you? Yeah, let's keep going. We're we've got 99 people in I, here. I think it's your turn though cuz I went, Perfect. Tom went, now you. I'll go after you. My kids just got home. I'll do one thing and then you can do one thing. No, just do two things. Don't worry about it cuz my kids got home and I do, I want to go talk to the children. Okay. Okay, so I'll Make put you, you on. Big. Make you big. Woo. Woo. All right. Yeah, Gary, show something. All right. I got another one. This one's a Nest Pro. I'll do this one by itself, just in case you guys didn't want the remotes. So I'll start this off at um, $1. Oh, one dollar, brand new sealed. The Nest yeah, Pro. Thanks, Saxon. Appreciate it. Ready to go. Go, Gary. Go. One dollar, guys. Come on. Gosh, there it is. Somebody, this is now ten dollars. Somebody's got a dollar. Over two dollars. Somebody's got a dollar. Up, oh, dollar fifty. All right. Don fifteen. Yeah. Brand new sealed. Look at 17. Look Check them out. Oh, Philly Picker, 20 bucks. Ooh. Now we're we moving. Got, we got the Vente. Don came back at 25. It's getting serious. It's getting serious. Getting serious. Okay, I'll do this and. Uh oh, you're going to stack it up? Yeah, I'll do a couple of these. I'll throw a couple of these in. Oh. Stack them up. Two of them. Why in that pot? Where are we at? 30, fill a picker. Woo! He knows what these sell for. Don, 35. Janine, it's a camera. Ready to go. You can see it from your phone. Just type in Nest Pro. All right, Billy Bigger mm -hmm. came in at 30. Don came back with 35. And we'll tell you all about them. So what's the ideal application for this, Gary? For this camera? Yeah. Um, you plug it in and you set it all up and you can see stuff from your phone. You can also, I, I pay for a uh, service on this. I think it's like 25 bucks a month. Right. 
where it records up to like six months and yeah my buddy and i just got a kit for the warehouse that does similar to that with four cameras 400 bucks yeah costco costco well nest is nest is really popular yeah this stuff's not cheap i stole i stole a uh sold a bunch of these already <laughs> betty <laughs> Where we at? Well, it, can, it can go indoor or outdoor, or is it mostly indoor? Um, John Alfaro came in at Joy came in at forty, and Jonathan came in at fifty. Joy came yeah. back at fifty-five. Jonathan says sixty. Thank you. It's got night vision. I don't see why you couldn't put it outside. I have one outside. I have four actually outside. So All right, good, good for your plants, Tom. You know, keep an eye on them. Farmer says he grows indoor and outdoor. <laughs> All right, Joy came in at sixty-five. Jonathan came back with seventy. Wow, we're going and going. Sealed camera set and two remote kits. It's the Nest Pro. All right, Joy Munkin said she's out. Looks like Jonathan Alfaro might just win it if somebody doesn't want to jump in at 75. All right. Good for, you know, kids are playing outside. You can watch them. Right. Yeah, <laughs> Betty Webb says she needs one, Gary. Yeah. All, All right, right. Joy Munkin right. says she's out. Jonathan Alfaro looks like he's going to carry it off at the Sweet. fantastic price of 70 bucks. That's a good deal for sure. Absolutely. Sell it. Hook them up. J. Alfaro. Hey, yo. My bro. All right, let's sell it. Let's sell it. Who uh, says anyone else? We're gonna call it. Oh, so so so. To Jonathan Alfaro, yeah, seventy bucks. Thank you, bro. All That's right. All right, one more. Hit it. I keep going. Donna's probably not even back yet, huh? All right, that's done. Let's see. You guys like tools? Man tools? Oh, man. <laughs> I got a bunch of, like, handheld tools that are new. Some are used. Let's try it. What do you guys think? Yeah, yeah. Let's see what you got, man. Bring it on. Still got 96 <laughs> people. My gosh. The throwdown tonight. Got some great stuff on box Full of goodies in that one. I got another box full of goodies. Gary, Gary's household dibble box. Dude, I got so much tools, man. I'm even throwing in a brand new pack of gloves. Let's start it off. One buck. Let's go. All right. So you get some gloves. Oh. Get some gloves. Brand oh, yeah. new. Got stuff around the house. Man, look at that. Oh, Milwaukee. People know what these. That's a stud. Right that that thing, yeah. that thing weighs about three pounds. Woo. Got that. Let me lower this camera down a little bit so you guys can see what's going on. All right, we got Jonathan Alfaro at twenty-five. Okay. I mean, you got, you got stacks of new. Oh, oh, drill, drill bits. bits, drill bits, stack. Look at that. Man. All different sizes. Are they wood and metal, or are they concrete? Wood and metal. Uh, this is a masonry. Some are oh, wood. Oh, those are metal. worth more. Masonaries are worth more. Another stack of bits. Bam. Dude, we need, we need twenty-seven, yeah, Susan, if you want to stay in. Another stack. Brand new. Two dollar increments, please. Bosch 
bitch right oh, there. Guys, come on. The, the blade? Yeah, pack of Bosch. Just oh, come, come on. Right man, here. Look at on this. Three Bosches right here. <laughs> All right. Look at Got a uh, Milwaukee. <laughs> Milwaukee. Damn, he can easily, you know, lift these things. And, I mean, I got. Stack it up, Gary. Stack it up. We got pencils, you know. Like, oh, my God. He's doing the pencil drop. Yeah, we got more. Irwin. I've got Don in a 32. Bit. We're looking for 34. Yeah. Easy ship. Got a uh, what got it out. commercial electric tester right here. Oh, those are Get nice. Those are nice. These are about 20 bucks alone. Yeah, Indeed. if you want to work on your circuitry around the house, you Ooh, test it. Look at that. Look at the name on that. Off. Klein, guys. Klein. Okay, you know what Klein, Klein. is? A legit electrical tool right there. All right, Don was... <laughs> Got Don was in at 32, here. Summer's in at 34, Joy's in at 36, looking for 38. Nice fat lot of stuff to have around the house for random little jobs. That thing will pay for the whole lot right there. Okay, so you got that. Yeah, fine, fine, seriously. Expensive. I ain't done yet. It's like an electrician's brand. I mean, look at that, dude. Brand, brand new. I mean, it's. Oh, nice square. On there, but hey, yeah, we'll throw that in there too. Why not? Summer's in. Joy in at 42. Oh, Summer's that. in at 44. What brand is that? Milwaukee? We got a Milwaukee here, guys. Look at that. Oh, no oh, way. Open this baby up. Let's see. Look oh, at that. Be careful with that. Dude. That thing's Ooh. sharp. Oh, you got to be kidding. You get down in the garden with something like that. Damn. Get down in the garden. Somebody try to come in the house, bro. You put it on the side of your hip right here. Look at this. Hey, Betty Webb, there's your home security. Yeah. Yeah. There he is. There he is. He's gonna start oh, dancing. He's gonna start dancing. <laughs> He's gonna start dancing. I can feel yeah. it. Woo! I can feel it. All right, we got, got some uh, fifty action there. going on. Sandy Kirk That's came in at fifty. John Mann came fifty five. Summers in at sixty. Oh, look at these Lennox, man. Come on, oh, come dude. on. Look at that. Gary oh. must have. Gary must have robbed the tool shed at work. <laughs> Easy. I mean, you could list all this stuff. I just don't. I don't have time. What do we got here? Oh, look at that little Bean. sprinkler set there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is amazing. He's oh, just gonna keep pulling stuff out. Another tape. Tape measure, guys. I it's mean, like 12, 15 bucks by itself. What else we got? We got another drill bit. What else? <laughs> Joy Monk is in a sixty-five. Summers came back in at seventy. What else we got? What else can I throw in here? Turned. That's good. Gary just got turned. I mean, guys, come on. So this recap, okay? Those are crimpers. Those are really handy to have if you need them. All right, Evil Lenny says he's out. Two tape measures. I mean, anyway, all these. Please make sure you say you're either in or out. You got really? Summers in at seventy. Join Munkin back in at seventy-five. Real bits, dude, for days. You know. Yeah, this is a great, Thank great you. lot of stuff you have around the house. That electrical tester is nice to have. Brand new gloves. You name it. Yeah, exactly, JJ. Really cool. And just alone, just in the Milwaukee stuff and then that Klein screwdriver. Yeah. Hasn't been yeah, that, those are like first. Hasn't yep. even been through the concrete yet. Masonry bits with the special tips on them. Yep, those are great to have too. All right, let's sell it. Where we at? All right. Or a joy at 75, looking for 80. I don't see anybody coming in. We're going to call it once. I'm going to start boxing it away. Sandy Kirk says 80. Thank you, Sandy. Yeah, this is a great box. There's so much. And that kind of stuff comes in real handy. Something about it. When you need it and you got it, that's just huge all right we're gonna we need 85 we're gonna sell it to sandy all at once some pencils in there crimpers on twice we'll Pretty give you a second good. for the lag 80 we need 85 joy says she's out thank you thank you joy thanks everyone for bidding Home protection right there. Yeah, that's a nice item there. Look at that Milwaukee, that Klein, all that stuff's nice. 
go buy all that at Home Depot. That's two hundred bucks easily. Oh, dude, this this thing alone is crazy. How much this guy alone? Yeah, that's all that that brand. I think is very synonymous with electricians or something. I think. Yep. All um, right, Sandy Kirk got it. Sold, sold, sold. No. Eighty bucks. Oh, oh. I'm gonna, I'm gonna add that too. So I put that in there too, Sandy. Okay. Nice. That's a crayon slash lead pencil. That's awesome. Goodbye. Awesome. Awesome lot. Awesome lot. Thank you. That was Sandy Kurt. Yep. 80 bucks. All right. Thank you, Sandy. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Yay. All right. You're up, Donna. All right. We still got 94 people here, you guys. Thank you so much. Let's go. Let's get Kurt. Awesome. Let's get dirt. Where's JJ? I thought JJ was coming in. I guess he changed his mind. Oh, okay, because you dropped the okay. link, didn't you? This is going to be a one-off. I did. Okay, but JJ, you want to come in? Come on. Here's what it is. Melonmore Pure Wool Dry Clean Only Made in Ireland. Size 42. And it is... A beautiful Irish knit sweater. It's in excellent condition. I absolutely love, love, love this sweater. It's so beautiful. I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start this at 25. Yeah, it's beautiful. It is beautiful. Made in Ireland. Not a spot on it. It's not absolutely a snag. Beautiful. Not a nothing. Nothing. It's in perfect condition. Look at how gorgeous it is. It's probably all hand knit. Wow, $25. $25 to start. Mm. Beautiful Irish knit sweater. The buttons are leather, I'm sure. Mm. No interest? $25. Look yeah, at we it. just need 25 to open, size medium. $25 to start. Look at how clean it is. Um, Christine, I, I don't know if it's men or women's. I mean, I think it could be either or. It says 42, usually <laughs> a size 42. I don't know. It's a European size, so I, I don't know. My God, Amber. <laughs> Get the work on Narrow. it. <laughs> 26 to Carol Ann. Mm. Yeah, it is gorgeous. That's beautiful. What you yeah. eating back there, Tom? I hear you eating. I know. Sorry, let me put it on mute. No, no, you're good, bro. <laughs> I'm eating I'm, the heat. I'm eating the heat bar. I'm just jealous. Chomp, chomp, chomp. I don't get no dinner. My God, one time I, I did a video with Pirate and I was chewing gum and he got the worst feedback in his video comments when I was showing records in a video. Oh, really? I didn't realize I was gum smacking, and boy, I got blasted for that. It's a little bit tight on me. I'm What's a you, Donna? I'm a two XL, so I mean, I could, you know, I could button it, but you know, it would be tight. Well, you know. Yeah, I would consider that. I, I wish Jonathan Alfaro. I, I, I wish that was a large, I, actually. No, I'm a 2XL. I'm a big girl. So, yeah, it fits me. And I'm a 2XL. If it was large, I'd buy it for my wife. <clears throat> so we've got Broken Arrow at 25. Carolyn, was that a bid from you? Or is that... Um... Thank you, Don. Hi, bid. I don't know if Carolyn, if that was a bid from Carolyn. No, she says 26. Yeah, so she came in at 26. So, right, so I guess we're looking for 28. Mm. Show the bottom. Oh, right. Yeah, look at that. Doesn't even look like it's ever been worn. That is beautiful, though. Yeah, you can tell. Even, like, look at the sleeves are spotless. All right. Amber Broken Arrow said she'll come in at 30. We'll need 32. Caroline. And Caroline comes in at 32. Okay. 
It was worn by Donna. <laughs> You're so funny. That's true. It was. Yeah. For 30, for 30 seconds. <laughs> Amber is out. Carol like. Ann wants it for $32. Carol Ann's going to get it for $32. Game worn. That's nice. All right, Carol. All right. Ooh, uh, Amber says going once. Hey, do people like like just like dibble lots, a little bit of this, a little bit of that? Oh yeah. Okay. All right. Oh, yeah. How you doing, Donna? You doing okay? Oh yeah, I'm fine. I'm good. Okay. Um, is Christina still in the house? I didn't write down what Christina won those brooches for. Christina, you still here? All right. Ooh, Amber says going twice. Does anybody Let's remember? Go. Christina? Yeah, Christina, I didn't write down what she won the brooches for. I didn't write it down on the slip, and I didn't write it down on my sheet. Christina, what did you win the, 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 the pins for, the brooches? Do you remember, honey? Because I didn't write it down. It will be big, but I'll still wear it. I love wearing big sweaters. I will send you a message. Okay. All right, because I don't have it written down. Let me know. All right, you know what I'm going to do next, guys? I'm going to do a, um, a lot of glasses. Glasses and sunglasses. I'll show you what I have. Is there people that want to list glasses in the house? Glasses are really easy to sell and photograph. Um, Sorry, Don, Tom, can you help Donna with this one? I'm going to step out a second. Yeah, you want to grab another lot for, are you done selling, Gary? I'm going to grab another lot. Awesome. Okay. Okay. So these are Ralph Lauren. And they have prescription in them, so you have to um, pop out the prescription. Um, sometimes they come out easy. I don't recommend you do this unless you have experience. Um, I have experience, so I just popped out the lenses. So now you can just sell these as just frames. Um, a lot of these frames are discontinued, so people will look for these. You know, I always say that some people are creatures of habit and they love to, um, to buy the same frames. Okay. These are Vogue and they have a prescription in them as well. Let me see if I can pop it out. I can't. So, oh, that one came out. So if you can't pop out the lenses, you know, I'll try to pop them out for you. Okay. I got them out. So these are Vogue and they're really pretty. They're purple. So that's two. I'll try to pop out as many lenses as I can. This one is a three piece rimless. I can't pop out the lenses, but they are Betsy Johnson. And these are a three piece rimless and they don't, do they have prescription? I don't think they do. They don't have prescription in them. So these are ready for prescription. Betsy Johnson. Those are nice. Those are three. These are, so I'm going to start this lot off at $25. Um, so these are... These are, these are, let me see, hold on. Made in Italy, D-W-I-N, made in Italy, D-W-I-N, and they're an Italian frame. You'd be surprised what these frames sell for. Okay, these are Todd Rogers. These are Todd Rogers. Um these feel like they're really tight. Yep. I can't pop those out. Todd Rogers. Um, Tom, help me, fit, help me count. One, two, three, four. That's five. This one is Armani exchange. These are six. These are 
Liz Claiborne, and there's seven. These are Vera Bradley, and there are eight. Let's see if I can pop these out. Nope. Those are eight, the Vera Bradley. Um, these are Jean, Jean uh, Lamont Paris, and they're nine. Next is Serengeti. Expensive. These are awesome. Serengeti, a 10. Next we have... Let me look and see. Made in Japan, which is good. You have to look up the style number and describe it. I don't see a name on them, but they're made in Japan. M-O-D-O, -O, Modo. Moto.com, made in Japan. And they are 11. All right. Next we have a very dirty pair. The dirt is free. <laughs> Titan. Um, they say Titan on them. That's 12. And Oscar de la Rente. These are an Oscar de la Rente. These are awesome. <coughs> These are 13 Oscar de la Rente. And next we have... It says occhiali, which means uh, glasses in Italian. Link. Um, they are K. Oh, you'll have to look them up. I think 12, right? Am I, am I on 12? I think 12. Next is Ralph Lauren. That's 13. Next we have, this is Spring Hinged, 13, and the name on these is, oh, it's really hard to read, Made in Italy, and it's B-L-O-N-Z-O, -O. don't know that name. Donna Christina chimed back in and said that the pen lot was 55. Oh, thank you. I'll write it down. Thanks, Christina. I think, I All right, we're still sitting at 25. We're looking for 27 on this great glasses lot, the frames lot. I think that's 14. And these are, what are these? Betsy Johnson again. Mm. 15. And Zara, Z A R A, good name. <gasps> wow, those, those are nice. <laughs> nice. You might have to keep those. <laughs> Love them. These are so nice. I don't know. I think oh. it's like 16 at this point. I'm lost count. 16. These are Kirkland. <laughs> But they're nice. 17. Donna, can I bid? Yes, of course. All right, I'll bid 30. 17 or so. And these are Gloria Vanderbilt's. 18. And next we have. Um, 
What are these? I can't see. Oh, here we go. The writing is really small, you guys. New Balance. Oh. Whoops. I saved it. <laughs> these are New Balance. They're 19. And Michael Kors. These are Michael Kors with the big MK on the side. 20. These are Coach. These are Coach. 21. New Balance again. 22. And Burberry. Ooh. These are Burberry. Ew. 23. This is a great lot. Yeah, it's really a good one. I'm on a these are Giorgio Armani. 24. I'm keeping on going. 24, and these are, hold on, let me check. Ralph Lauren, 25. Guys, if you haven't listed glasses, they're really easy. 25, these are Frame Italy, Spring Hinge. Thanks, Farmer. And it's E Y E T E L, Frame Italy. Mm. 28. Next. Frame Italy. And Klein. 29. And. BCBG. 30. Okay, thanks, Oil. Appreciate it. 30. These are Frame Italy. I don't know what these are. Another small frame. All right. Ooh, uh, Amber has to go, so I want to wish her a good night. Good night, good night, Amber. Thank you so much. Oh, good night. These Thanks. are Steve Madden. These are nice, too. Yeah. All right, we got... Um, I, think, I don't think JB's registered. So, JB, if you want to register, we got a link that we'll drop. That you got to fill out some things that qualify you to bid in our auction. These are just... Um, <laughs> says uv 400 they're just they're not designer they're just funky glasses they're just fun funky glasses but they're not designer so, so susan arrington was at 32 the next bid be 34 and that'll go to uh susan arrington i believe because jb is not a registered bidder okay so if our mods can pick that up and there's one vintage pair of glasses in here and they are uh, frame, uh, frame France, and gosh, I don't know. Let's see, C O T T E T, and yeah, these. Mm. I, can't, I can't put these on the lot, you guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> are what? they just? Are they fire? I mean, if I didn't look, I would have put them in the lot. What? What are they? <laughs> 14 carat. What? All right, where's our where's our gold people at? Gold he's a, folks. He's a 14 no. carat. All right, well. That's the yeah. lot right there. My goodness. What am I missing? What am I missing? 
Donna just found some 14K plated. Or is it plated? Yeah, plated. Just says 14 carat. Okay, we don't know. European or? Made in France. Oh, boy. Okay. Right. Well. It says. He's thinking. Um, of, honestly, how can I put these in the, in the lot? Wow. Wow. They say 14 carat, you guys. Well, mm, you're right. How could you do that? You could always. Um, I have sold mystery eyeglass lots where I don't even look look them up or show you what they're getting. Mm. So. Well, what you could do is save it for the end and then sweeten it with those, like I did. Put them down, finish the lot, and then throw them in and see if we can get a... or not. <laughs> Let me just see if they say plated or if they're actually straight up 14 carat. I can't would, get they, would they have made glasses all solid like that? Oh, yeah. Are oh, no way. Oh, okay. yeah. Especially old ones. Yeah. Absolutely. I just sold a pair of glasses. Didn't you see the glasses I just sold on eBay? Oh, oh. okay. I think I heard about it. it was, was it something like 400 bucks or more? More. A thousand? More? <laughs> wow. Oh, I, I heard about them. Yep. Yeah, I, I just heard there was a lot of money, but I'm just guessing Dude, what it was. Crazy. And I found them in one of my gla eyeglass lots. I pulled them out. All right. Because, but we'll, um, we'll understand if you want to pull them. I, I totally agree. I'm still going to bid. I'm, I'm, I want to bid. I want to see those Zoralas again. Oh, that's right. I think I do remember it. I forgot it was that much. My gosh. Vintage. These are vintage. Ouch. Yeah, no, those can't go in. Look at these. Yeah. They're beautiful. These wow. are absolutely, they're absolutely beautiful. Yeah. Those ones that I sold were um, white gold and 14 karat gold. Mm. These say 14 karat gold on them. Aren't they awesome? Yeah, they're gorgeous. Aren't they really great? I love them. <laughs> Made in France. They're so pretty. Wow. I love them. Is they're that actually <laughs> old glasses? I love them. I think these are phenomenal. <laughs> I would wear these. I totally would wear them. You can tell by the you can tell by the the color of the gold of the frame. See them? How beautiful they are? That's gold. Yeah, wow. Very yeah. They're, they're, they're thick frames, too. Yeah. And oddly, yeah. Sorry, you guys. I have to pull that. If I sold it as a mystery <sighs> lot, you guys would have got it. But I went through each and every pair of glasses. So if you guys oh. order a mystery lot from me, I'll be happy to just <laughs> do a mystery lot. Can you pull out those Zoralls again? The ones that you tried on that you liked? I, I thought those looked really nice. The ones with this. I think those were Zoralls. These? Yes. Those are the money. I'm I sorry, but I have to bid these. I have to bid. Those I love gorgeous. these. These are awesome. All right. Sorry, Susan. I'm going to go. Zara. There's Z-A-R-A. -A. Oh, Zara. No L. Zara? No, just Z-A-R-A. -A, Zara. Zara. Yeah. Yeah. They're beautiful. Yeah, they're, they're, I'm gonna I'm gonna gift those to my wife. I love the gold on them. Nice. Tom Cruise is bidding too. Those are Me. nice. I'm gonna give them to my wife. Oh, Tom is saying that. Oh, um, Susan wants them too. Yeah, I love these. They're beautiful. They have a nice lens in them too. Yeah, that's the those are the ones in the lot that I want. And those Betsy's are cute too. There's a, there's Burberry in here. Yeah, there's the Burberry's. Yeah. There's Polo by Ralph Lauren. There's there's lots of great pairs in here. What are you gonna do with all of these, Tom? If you want just the one pair, you know. What uh -oh. I, mean? I don't know. I still have the last lot I bought from you. I gave Mama G the um the Ray Bands, and I sold um the. Betsy's to uh, um, 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 uh, deals. We haven't seen deals in a while, but she bought those for me. 
Oh, awesome. All these right, I'm blown really out. Looks like I don't get them. Wow, they're going nuts for them now. These are these are really beautiful. The tor Somebody's they're doing their comps. Tortoise shell, and these are uh, Ralph Lauren with the tortoise shell and the yellow. I oh, love boo. boo, boo, boo. They're beautiful. Anybody wants to sell me the Zaraz, I'll buy them from the winner. <laughs> Thank you, 710. I love these too. I think these, I think these, even though these are not designer, these are just regular glasses, but ah, those are, those are, those are fun. Ooh, I love these. <laughs> these are so much fun. Ooh, like something you take to the beach or something. Love those. <laughs> I think that they're so awesome. I do. I think that they're great. Hey. No, there's a lot right. of great. And these Michael Kors, look at these Michael Kors. These are like so jacky. I love these. These oh, are yeah, so beautiful. Are, yeah, those are wow. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, there's a logo on there. <laughs> so All right. Like those Only love was at 80. Susan Arrington's at 85. Looking for 90. They're beautiful. On those our way to a Benji. So you get a big old ho ho ho. That's an amazing lot. And the fact that you found those gold frames, my goodness. Ho, ho, ho lot. Ho, ho, ho lot. <laughs> You'll have to update us about those glasses later. I will. Yeah, I can't wait to find out what, what oh, those are. Oh, and don't forget, there's the coach. Ew. Look at those are coach. These are beautiful. <gasps> and they have spring hinges. Oh, come on. You guys, you can bring these glasses, whoever buys these, you can take these to your optician uh -huh. or even to Walmart or Costco and have your lenses put in here. You can have these turned into sunglasses and just have your own prescription put in them if you, you oh. know, don't want to resell them. Uh, Moni Love was at 80 and then Susan Arrington came in at 85, looking for 90. We are going to sell this lot. Okay. We're gonna sell it. It's good, it's good names in there for sure. All designer names, every single one of them. And they're Gary, what'd you find? You find some stuff, Gary? They're yeah, all I, got some stuff. <laughs> I knew you would. <laughs> um even just the regular like new balance ones are a nice, nice frames. All um, right, we're gonna call it. Janine says we're twice. Susan Arrington for 85, looking for 90. Anybody wants to steal this amazing designer framed lot? Oscar De La Rente. Oscar oh, De La Rente oh, always oh, brings oh, me good money. It's a great designer. Oscar De La Rente has a nice following. So will an optometrist take those frames and put your prescriptions in them? Absolutely. Usually they, they want to sell you their frames. No, 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 no. You can take them to an optician. Most optom optometrists don't have, you need to go to an optician. Oh, okay. okay. An optometrist, usually they just examine your eyes and then you take yeah. your prescription to an optician. Right. The optician is the one that fills the prescription. Right, right. An ophthalmologist right. will also check your eyes, but they usually don't do glasses. If they do, they have small. An optician usually has a boutique with lots of glasses. And yes, absolutely, right. you can bring your glasses in and have your prescription. Or you can just say, you know, take if you like this frame, you can just take this frame in and say, just, right. put, some, just put sunglasses in them. Right, right. No, you know, you, you, I'm always under the understanding because they're showing you in their showroom all their stuff they have everywhere. Like that's all you have to pick from, and you, no. it's amazing with the stuff that you can find, you can just no. take it down there and have them fit them for your. No, your and that's why that's why I always say, like you know, you post this stuff oh. on eBay because I always say people are creatures of habit, so they find a frame that really suits them and fits them really well, and they lose right. them or right. they break, and the glasses are discontinued like they're they're like clothes they come out for a season and then they're gone right. you can't they don't make them anymore they discontinue them so for a person to find those glasses they have to turn to ebay to find them because right. they don't find right. them anywhere else so well this, this was a great lot and it sold to susan errington for 85 wow 85 dollars to susan yeah that was a nice nice deal wow awesome okay are you um I think Gary wants Gary wants to sell. Oh. All right. What's up? What's up? <laughs> Where's You're the 805 selling? at? Where's the 805? You're not selling, Tom? 
No, I think I met my match. That CD lot really took a lot out of me. Okay. <laughs> Got to save up a little for the Black Friday. Amazing fives right here. Cheers. Oh. Cheers. Jack and Coke. <sighs> Yum. All right. <laughs> so I'm going to do a little bit of this, a little bit of that. What do you right. call it, Laura? Also referred to as a... Dibble lock. Dibble lock. Boom, boom, boom. Or Westside Gary's gadget line. All right. <laughs> so here's a lot. I, I got a bunch of just random stuff. <laughs> Wes. <laughs> kind of out of the ordinary, but let's start. Let's start with this gun. Okay, Wes. This is Where are you at, Wes? Well, made in the USA. Where's Jonathan? Look at that. Wow. 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 Mean USA? Cool. I don't know. I don't know what that insignia is, but people who know, they know. Clean yeah. the garage lot, Elizabeth says. <laughs> That's what exactly yeah. what he was doing. He's rooting the garage. <laughs> we got that guy. Man, that's one. What kind of gun is that? Like a, is it like a stage gun or some like kind of a like old school? Cap, like sir, cap. what, what, like what do you do with that? Cap. Uh, okay, yeah, that's fun. Caps ain't shoot no bullets. Any markings ain't. on the, on the barrel? There's no barrel. There's no barrel. <laughs> There's no barrel on that gun. I don't see anything on the barrel. Okay. And then... Tom, are you laughing at me? <laughs> I'm throwing in this guy. Remember I showed you this the other day, Donna? Uh-oh. What the heck is that? What stone is this again? I don't know, but see, see if there's... I've been hanging around the stone channels. See if there's any flashing on it. Elizabeth, how am I doing? See if there's a flashing on it. Elizabeth, the hell's a flashing? Am I saying it right? See if you can find the flashing. Oh, there we go. Yeah. No, no, <laughs> no, no, no. That's not flashing. That's not flashing. It's flashing. Look it. No, no. You have to find. Thank you, Elizabeth. Obsidian. She says, no, you have to find like there's a certain way to hold it where it shows flashing, which is like inside. Am I holding it wrong? Am I stressing you out? <laughs> hey, look at uh, the look. Just says, Jonathan, how am I doing? Flashing. You need to look for the Obsidian. flashing. Obsidian. Just look really slow. Got a scratch back there. What? Oh, man. But sweet you looking. Paint. Damaged merchandise, you guys. What's going oh, on here? Not all stones. Not all stones flash. Oh, sorry. All right. You got the gun. Here, let me put down the camera a little bit. <sighs> Elizabeth uh -oh, just uh -oh. always threw me under the bus. Oh, he's got a table load of stuff. Thank you. I got the gun. Uh -oh. Got this guy. Oh, no. What is all this? I got this. Uh, guy doesn't flash. Old school. West of Berlin. That part of the wall? Yeah. Oh, oh that's cool. Oh, look at that. I'm going to start this lot off at a dollar. <laughs> Let's One go. Dollar. One dollar. A dollar. A dollar. Looking for a dollar. Anyone? Anyone? Looking for a dollar. 1925. Dollar. Association of Machinists. Oh, so it's like kind of like a log? Oh, it's a union yeah. book? It's a union book. Oh, it's dues. Yeah, it's a union dues book. Right. Like 1925. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. And he was in Illinois. Hmm. That's cool. Yeah, that is cool. Jonathan is in it for. I got something like that, but there's no stamps in mine from a long time ago. I don't know what that is. Then we got a stack of vintage postcards.
big stack there. Are they all have postmarks or just like all new? They're all new. Oh, cool. Okay. Farmer's in at five. <laughs> Jonathan's in at seven. Oh, that's pretty. That looks like Italy. Where was that? Can the one the um, other one? This one is St. Louis. Oh. Mm. Bombers in at nine. <laughs> nine. I'll show them quick, okay? It's okay. They're all postcards. Yeah, I'll take a chance and power bid, Janine says. <laughs> you all big spenders, Shelly says. Farmers at nine. Bridges. Select the bridges. How many times have we had to select the bridges <laughs> in those things that to make sure we're not robots? <laughs> Sidewalks and bridges and mountains. I'm so sick of it. Mookie comes in at 20. She power bids. Ooh. She's a she takes a chance. Look at that butt. Oh. Is that Thor? Thor? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tell me you don't know who Thor is. That one's cool. Mookie, <laughs> calm down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's cute. I bet that's Hawaii. <laughs> All right, so a stack of those. <coughs> All right. <laughs> Old school McDonald's little toy. Got this uh, big bird. Right, Sharice? Did you see the Thor butt? That. This thing's cool. Look at that. It's got a coin right there. That's very cool. It's new. It's never been open. Yeah, that's very cool. All right, we're at twenty dollars. We're um, looking for this guy. Forty-five. <laughs> Was it Elizabeth? I didn't examine it that close. <clears throat> He's got coins, folks. On this, I, you know, I don't know Pokemon, so doing a stack of Pokemon. Oh my God. They're nineteen ninety-five. Never looked at them. There's like five or six per sleeve. So one sheet, two sheet, three sheet. No, he doesn't know who Thor is, Janine. Four sheet. Five. <laughs> Does the butt have a flash? <laughs> We want to see the butt postcard again. There's a ton in here. The butt? Nothing. Never mind. I mean, each sleeve <laughs> probably has about. <laughs> Let's open up a sleeve and see how many cards are just in that one. So there's one, one, two, three, four, five, six. Wow. The hustlers are here. You guys have been awfully quiet. 25 from the hustlers. That. Another sleeve. <laughs> Mookie, not anymore. Another sleeve. He did flash everybody, Shelly. <laughs> Another sleeve. Mookie's like, darn it. Oh, got some hollows in there. Is there? Yeah. Mookie's at 30. That doesn't necessarily mean much, just beyond the average normal commons, but. Yeah, the reverse and the normal and this and that and the other. Who knows? It's one thirty-seven in the morning. I turned Yay. in. I turned into a pumpkin an hour and a half ago.
Those, those are, are hollows too. Those are pretty. All hollow. Those are all hollows. It looks like. Those are pretty, and there's multiple ones in that sleeve too. Yeah, let's see. No, there's two per sleeve. Yeah, those are nice. Robin, oh, because we go all that stuff. Boop, boop. Robin's in the house. Robin, all right, let's sell it. We're gonna have yet. Oh, I forgot to add that too. It's an old well, Robin, Robin, there's it's a cool stream if you want to come in and say. Wait a hi. minute. I know where that goes. Doesn't that go to Connie? This? Yeah. No, that know. doesn't go with that stereo you sold Connie's books and things, is it? The one I bought off of her, you mean? Oh, did I thought you sold her one. No, I bought that from her. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you sold it to her. Joy's at 43. <laughs> <laughs> go to Connie. I'm like, what? <laughs> and then there's this thing too. I forgot to show St. Louis. Oh man. Yeah, this is this is a good little lot, a bunch of mixture of things. Yeah, well, we'll I buy a stereo out. handbook. All right, let's sell it. Let's well, Sandra, where have you been? Robin, there's the stream if you want to come in. <sighs> Mookie is out. <coughs> Mookie. Cool little lot, you know. Sarah, your secrets, your secret's good with me, honey. <laughs> I don't tell Jackie I'm bidding on Pokemon. Lego Man of the Midwest is here. Hey, Lego oh, Man. What's up, Brandon? Let me look for that butt pick real quick. There it is. Ooh. There you go, everybody. Rock there hard, it is. Rock hard <laughs> glutes. We're just looking for a flash. Oh, shit. There you go. That's Thor. That's him. We're going once. Where were we at? I have no idea. Uh, looks like it was 40 something. Janine's got it. She'll let us know when she sells it. <laughs> it's going to cost a lot to ship this. Joy Monk, you got it. 43 to Joy Monk is sold. I have no idea, Robin. I'm done right after the slot. I'm going to bed. I'm oh, so bad. We're just getting started here in Kelly. Oh my gosh. Just turn it up. You have everybody follow you over to your channel. Oh. You down? Yeah. I'm yeah. telling you. I'm going to bring everybody in. Okay. Thank you, Joy. What'd that sell for again? 40. That? Oh, Christine, what was the brooches? What did the brooches sell for again? I never wrote it down. Do you guys myself. remember? <laughs> Christine, are you still here? Oh, Christina. Fifty-five. Thank you, honey. Thank you. I couldn't write it down again. Yeah, I told you that like thirty minutes ago. What's that? I said, remind. I told you that thirty minutes ago. I know. I didn't write it down. I have so much on my mind. I just. Oh, um, Janine, <laughs> family sold five at gmail.com. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Family sold and the number five <laughs> at gmail.com. That was a good lot, Joy. Yeah, it was good. Joy you scored. guys brought amazing lots tonight. Thank you so much. That was yeah, so we fun. had lots of fun. Thank oh you. Oh my gosh, I really appreciate it so so much. I sold some gangster rap. Gangster rap. That lot went gangster. Oh, Kelly, that makes me so happy. Thanks, honey. Yeah, thanks Thank again, Donna, for allowing us to come on and. Oh on. yeah, anytime, anytime. I love hanging out with. The boys. I, I, have, I have to look. Donna, how do you say it? Donna, how do you say that? Turn. 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 
Got to go get turned. Use it. Use it in a sentence so that I can use it tomorrow in front of my kids, and my kids are going to be like, Gary, already, Gary open that bottle of Johnny turned. Walker. Let's get turned. Wait, wait, one at a time. Wait, wait, wait. What? Gary, open up that bottle of Johnny Walker back and let's get turned. Turned. Oh, so so they went to a party tonight. So when they come downstairs tomorrow morning, I said, "So did you guys get turned?" Oh, yeah, perfect. Go. They're gonna be like, <laughs> and they're gonna be like, "Bruh." I can say that mama, to them. Got, mama got street cred. I can say that to them, and they're gonna think that I'm like the coolest mom on earth. Say, just say, "Y'all get turned." Y'all get turned, and be like, get, "Should I say it like this?" Did you all get turned last night? No, 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 no. Don't say that, Gary. No, 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 no. Tom, what, what are you teaching, teaching me? That he's saying, no, 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 don't say that. Not like know that, that, you know. Oh, then please specify, Gary. <laughs> I got to look it up. I got to look up this word before I go to bed, before I use it with don't my get turn. Tom. Um, don't get turned. No, we tell them in the morning when they when they wake up. Say, hey, girls, you all get turned last night? They're going to look at you like, what? Turned. Turn. Variation of turned used only to describe when someone is excessively excited or prepared for the current event. It is entirely... It can be commonly be used be be seen used as turned up as in turned up turned. Hmm. There you are. Like turn it up. Like, let's get turned. Turn that value up. Let's, let's get turned. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> let's get turned. With the face and all. Let's get turned. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I got some. Words. Uh, got some words you can look right, Farmer. I know. I don't mean to play the innocent. Donna left you a phone message. There's no way you left me a phone message because my my <laughs> right, Mookie. <laughs> my um my messages are full. Oh, I have a sale. Oh, I so I sold a frog. This was a lot of fun. We got to do it again. I sold that frog for twenty five dollars. Oh, nice! Oh, how cute! Nice. Little plushy, little plush frog. Sometimes, sometimes I just pick things and just randomly will list something, just like even twenty five, thirty dollars, just to kind of keep the eBay store, just you know, to have a sale here and there. I mean, I have big sales. I have little sales, but I, I'll post like little, you know, inexpensive things. Um, mm. so Susan Arrington, how much for those Zaraz? I'm gonna try and buy those off of you unless you want to keep them. I'll give you 40 shipped. Wait a minute, hold on. Can I buy those Zaraz from you, Susan? Ooh, send me an invoice. Okay, she says, Donna, leave out the Zara sunglasses and tell Cruz what he thinks is a good price and give it to him. Okay, how about 40? Will 40 work? Look Shit. at that. Yeah, I mean, that pays for like half the lot. She sells I'm more thinking pay. like 500 from there. <laughs> on, that <laughs> note, does anybody, on that note, does anybody want a mystery lot of sunglasses? I swear. Ooh. I won't look through them. Throw those 14Ks in there. I'll just put them in. Who wants a mystery lot of sunglasses? Anybody? Yeah. Anybody? 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 You see the kind of sunglasses I have. That might have been the best one you got, though. Those might have been the best ones. I have... Um, I mean, can you honestly think you could top that lot? Of of sunglasses? Yeah. Oh, shit, yeah. You got Burberry, Betsy's... Oh, every time. Every time. Every time. Every time. If you ever watch my auctions, the glasses that I bring... I, I've sold... I've sold eyeglass slots at auction for $250, oh $300. Well, wow. how much are you selling your lots for in the chat? Maybe somebody wants to jump on one of them. Um, I'll do a lot of mm, approximately 25 pairs for 100 Wow. That's I'll cool. If anybody wants in, I'll throw 100 I did it for 100 I said, that was a screaming <laughs> lot. 
That blew my mind, the stuff you had in there. <laughs> Kathy's like, what happened to the $5 stuffed animals? I was joking. But I am going to do, I'm going to do, um, you guys, I'm going to do a $5 event of just plush. So if you guys want to buy plush for Christmas presents, I'm going to do $5 plush and I'm going to pick out all really nice plush like Disney and all really nice plush. I just got to get down to the storage unit and go and I want to see your plush pile, Donna. Oh, you want to see here? I'll show you something. You want to see you telling me before you had a lot of plush. Oh, wait until you see this. Hold on. I'm going to show you something. Hold on one second. A lot of these guys have already seen it because I showed it to them. My son went down to the storage unit to um, organize a little bit for me. <clears throat> and um, he he took this video. All right, Susan, I put my email in there just in case you didn't have it. I no. appreciate it, Susan. Thank you. Is that all plush? What the oh. heck? Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember this. All those totes? All those totes. Every single one of those totes. Yellow oh, totes. Oh, um, mm, wow. We have a thousand pieces. Yeah, but I have to go through it because some of it is dog lots. You know, like some of it is, um, you know, plush that I, uh, my house is full of plush. For me, Joy, I know, honey. <laughs> Right. Some of it is dog lots, you know, that I, I sell for $25 for the dog lots. I have some people that just order order them from me on a regular basis. Um I just know that there's puppets in those. Yeah, Shelly, I gotta find you puppets. I gotta find Don a puppet too. He wants a monkey puppet. Um uh, we, are, we are we are uh Brandon, we're we're shutting it down honey it's like two hours past my bedtime i don't do well at this time of night i don't know God, it's, it's almost two o'clock for you huh well plus you got to get up and go tomorrow right tomorrow i have uh yeah coffee with t and donna at 10 and then i'm meeting the um world war ii specialist down at the storage unit at 12 30 to do a video wow. then i gotta run home do some shipping and then we go on tomorrow night with Goose and JJ. That's right. That's right. That's right. Busy, busy. Tomorrow night. I mean, T was just going to go on with with Goose and JJ. And I mean, I usually don't go on on Saturday nights, but she asked me to join them. And I have so much inventory and it's Q4. So I might as well get this inventory out of my hands and into their hands so you guys can list it because I'm not listing it. Right, right. So yep. I said, yeah, absolutely. absolutely. And when I, and like today when I was on with them, I was shipping, like, I don't just sit and wait. Like I constantly doing things in the house. You know what I mean? Like, so I, so I multitask. So it's not like I'm just sitting there. All right. I'm going to say thank you so much for to everyone for your support. Thank you to Janine for helping out. Amber went to bed. We thanked Amber. Anybody mm -hmm. else? I don't know if Invisible Bitter is still here. Thank you for dropping links and everyone that helped uh, helped us tonight. Thank you so much. And to you boys, I love you. Thank you so much. For being thank here. you, Don. Re really appreciate it. Thank you so much for having us. Yeah, um, thank you. It was my pleasure. I had fun. And I'm going to leave you with Robin's amazing trailer for next. <laughs> thank you, everybody. Marathon. Okay, bye. Awesome.